Back like scoliosis, baby, it is Saturday night. Getting ready for another Linux Gamecast Weekly. We're going to try to melt your brain because we're highly irresponsible with our brain-melting technology. It's called glue. Oh, man. What's it's going on? It's so everyone? delicious. I don't know. Is there any type of glue that you would never consider eating? Because, all right, real talk. I, I, I would <laughs> eat super glue, like, for sure. Yeah, no, super glue is very runny, and then it gets really, really hard. So. I, I don't think it even... Okay. <laughs> like, like, we're, Here's the thing. Gun, I, I don't gun, think gun to my head. I'd fuck up a bottle of Elmer's. Well, so. okay. With super glue, you got to think about you it. You Because um, <laughs> you, you could, you're only going to be eating a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, if my I fingers are anything are too... Stuck um, together. Yeah. Is that yeah re- remember that scene from The Matrix? Basically that. <laughs> yeah. That is... Uh, I used to keep the... Uh, nail polish remover around until I figured out no no just get some industrial strength acetone works much better (laughs) works much better so what do we got tonight uh we are going to be touching on a couple of things because uh yes that thing happened uh turns out a bunch of slobs took place we're going to be touching on the Grand Theft GTA Rockstar that's back in the news not for what you think though and uh Star Citizen our citizens uh, enabling the easy anti-cheat with the protons. Huh. Someone had to, I guess. Somebody yeah. took that bullet, right? <laughs> you know what? They, they should at least do it because they just rolled over to $400 million in funding. Well, so they, they, can, afford, they can afford the two-line get commit, yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. I get a team for that. Now, to, Ticking to be the fair, box and updating the uh, EAC module. It, yeah, it's not like <laughs> Star Citizen will ever actually be released, so they can experiment with software like this and Perpetual. have time to test. Good, yeah. Early access <laughs> is best early access. Hey, at least they're making good on that. Like, hey, we're we're gonna try and implement like Linux and Vulkan. Like, so many others have made that claim and did not put their money where their mouth is. RSI. They took their sweet ass time, but they did it. They so... did. <laughs> Where? <laughs> they're they're making it work with Proton. Yeah, they're working with Proton. technically it. Linux and Vulkan. Yeah, they didn't do fuck all, man. <laughs> l- 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 listen, this this is the state of the Linux gaming industry now. It's it's Proton or bust. Like, yeah. That's 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 just how it is. That's the price we paid. That's the price you paid. In baby hands. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, that, that, that. Yeah, we got a. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Grottings. If I make a Baba level, will you play it? Sure. All right. <laughs> like on stream? Yeah, sure, why not? All right. Is it like uh, Mario Maker where you actually have to finish the level before you can Here's put it thing. out? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's going to be a beautiful marriage because I'm going to have no idea what I'm doing. So, well, the, 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 I mean, I, I was expecting you to just like take Baba is Doom and start trying to hack away at that. Like, I, I have no idea. It will be 100% of, I just put a bunch of, I don't know. Just play yeah. it. See what happens. Yeah, the the entire time it's just on the background. <laughs> um, but like the the kazoo cover, right? What is Gunfire Reborn? See, asking the real questions. Born again, Gunfire. Oh. You, know, you know when 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 a when a Gunfire realizes that it's made some mistakes in its life and needs to appeal to a higher power. It becomes Gunfire Reborn. Okay. Well, apparently um, it's Wimpo Isn't that only now. coming out in 2022? Apparently it's 1.0 now. Oh, okay. It, it came out uh, in 2020, but apparently there's a new version that's coming out in 2022. Okay. Okay. What is it? Is it like, oh man, when some potassium nitrate and sulfur really love each Here, other? Here, let me read out the uh, popular user tags. FPS co-op, roguelite, online co-op, roguelike, 
multiplayer indie action adventure RPG early access shooter. Okay, so this trailer provides like no information. Um, <laughs> okay, it looks like it's first person League of Legends. Mm. It looks like it's got some war cell level shading. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely some bad cell shading. This is like fucking Gungrave on PS2. Mm. Which admittedly looks pretty looked pretty good, but that was also Gungrave on PS2. It's 2021 now. It's almost 2022. Fucking shit, man. It's just around the corner, baby. It's gonna be a thing. Half a ball of heaven? I don't know. I was thinking about, you know, it doesn't really register sometimes that it is 2021 because I some product, something some service. I'm like, yes, we plan to have this on shelves by 2025. I'm like, Jesus. Oh. Oh, right. We're yeah. halfway there. <laughs> right. Okay. Living, living <laughs> on a prayer, baby. And, you know, things have changed. Life changed. It used to be there's an entire generation that will never know what it was like to write the incorrect date on a check. Some some place at, at least in Ontario, they still require you to use, or at some places still require you to um, provide a check for rent. Mm -hmm. So like that that's the only reason I still have checks now. I'm, I'm I'm sure some some of the elder Zoomers are running into this. They're like, oh, actually that's not true. They can't afford rent. They're living with their parents. The uh, <laughs> anything I have to write a check for, like. Two of my banks just have like, oh, who punching the information and we'll mail one to them. Mm. So where I'm at right now is uh, remembering to put the right date on the ID three tags of the podcast. Mm. That's the one. I don't want any of that 2021 showing up in 2022. Oh, yeah. The, the, the three month adjustment period when you when you're like trying to fight the muscle memory of punching in the old year. Because mm -hmm. I do all that in a blur, man. Yeah, you de de definitely get like the, the, the routine for that. I have the, uh, I have the fucking blog post down until it's like, I, I like black out. And by the time I'm done, it's like, oh, here's the news post because I've done it so many times. Before this month is over, I'm going to release my <laughs> monthly reminder to everyone on Twitter that Gutenberg is dog shit. Um, fucking a god damn I it, it fought me last week when I was doing uh, LWDW notes it just got it in its mind it's like I'm not doing this thing that I typically do every single I have not updated anything this is just you being a dick Gutenberg <laughs> the, the quality <laughs> piece of software that it is I found out how to edit the HTML though Oh yeah, the source editor. Yeah, which yeah. you have. It's like the upper corner, and, it, and then it yeah, bites yeah. you on that when you because it, it wants to convert it to blocks and like stop. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck, fuck fuck the Gutenberg editor. Like fuck fucking it right in the ear. Who is it for? It's like we've taken everything and added three steps to it and put it in different places on the page. You know, you know that basic WYSIWYG interface that you've been using for the past 30 fucking years? Yeah, let's get rid of it. That worked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was working a little too well. Let's make it stupid. <laughs> and you're not going to tell me there was no insignificant overhead adding that. No, like... <laughs> it has all, it has all like the parsing shit and trying to break everything. And then it doesn't even work. It, fuck, it butchers your formatting. <laughs> Like, here's the thing. Here's where I'm at. If it would just straight up import with the color coding from Google Docs, I would give it a complete pass, but it doesn't. I would like to not have to edit, like, on my giant 4K screen in the little tiny window <laughs> it gives you. Yeah. That would be nice. I may, Maybe let me resize that just a, just a, just a tinch. Well, then you can just get it. I get in fist fights with it with spacing. Mmm. Yeah. That, 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 oh. And, like, throwing in fucking P tags and ignoring them. I'm like, really? Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Uh, it likes the formatting from open office or LibreOffice a little more than Google docs. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I find like doing all the spacing in there and then importing it like, Oh, for whatever reason, it magically works now. Fuck. Whatever. Okay. 
adjust workflow accordingly. <sighs> ah, living in the future. It's entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Th- 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 this, this is why, like, oh, technology will save us. Motherfucker. Technology barely works as it is. Just throw more resources at it. I just realized how pixel uh, the Steam thing is. See how pixel that is? The R and looks ah. retro. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. No, that is very low res. Yeah. You, you know, you know what got me the other week? What fucking got me the other week? Open up Nvidia settings for a hot minute. I don't dare. <laughs> Nvidia X server settings. Or are yeah. you going to be talking about the monitors? No. Yeah, the monitor. Yeah, the fucking okay. monitors up at the top. Yeah, like, those are rough. Yeah, that, 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 those are some old ass panels. There's like two CRTs and a flat panel. I'm yeah. like, man, I was thinking Four about by that. three flat panel. <laughs> I was literally thinking about that this week. They're just like, I, 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 I was just staring at it and it clicked in my brain like, damn, no one has a monitor like that anymore. Oh, Shit. Well, no. like, <laughs> like, CRT multi. That, that, that was. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> that art has been the same for literally 20 years now. <laughs> Easy. Easy. White screen technology does not even exist. Not according to NVIDIA. <laughs> See, the, here's the thing. Like, two of them are monitors. One's a straight fuck mothering TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that last one is a TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's a retro those gaming old S video out right. GPU. <laughs> yeah. Which that, you might that. not know. NVIDIA made a uh, video hardware encoder card at one point like 20 seconds that was an add-on to quadros i had to do a deep dive on that because i saw one on ebay i'm like this is this we can't linux mirror displays with more than what uh you can yeah you get probably a mirror not. man you just set up <laughs> <laughs> i think i think you might be referring to that nvidia the... bug that yeah. got fixed a couple oh. years ago where it didn't like, oh, you have five monitors installed and you don't have a Tesla? Get fucked. <laughs> have they? Buy our Quattros. Uh, okay, <laughs> I can have four plugged in and it'll hang with that, but anything more than four, it'll um, tell me to get wrecked. Mm. <laughs> it'll ask you, you for the you have, uh, attacks. <laughs> oh, wait, I guess, I guess, yeah, you have um, you have the fifth output, don't you? The USB-C one from yeah. the VR thing that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie doo. Oops. <laughs> Again, uh, Valve keeping up a, a very healthy tradition of introducing things and getting hardware partners to do a thing and going, fuck that. Did something else. <laughs> Thanks for the port, guys. Now, um, Here's one thing you have to do still on NVIDIA because you artificially are limited to how many concurrent NV encode processes mm. you can have running on retail cards. And it can mm. easily do four. So now there's a, an entire GitHub with up to date, like it's called NV patch, which just patches the drivers to lie. Right. <laughs> no, no, I have well, a quadro. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that's, that's the magic of binning and like doing everything in software. Oftentimes the hardware is like, it's like the fucking Nintendo switch that can absolutely, or the, or the fucking steam controller, like could always do Bluetooth. They're just like, yeah, we just had to turn it on now. Cause fuck you. Software defined radio. Oh, those, see, that's the thing with those cheap, I remember, I, I have a, I think I would have an NVIDIA, card. that's mini HDMI. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, 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 Talk oh, about a connector I, that lasted for 20 seconds. Do I have, I do. I have two tablets with mini HDMI uh, outs. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. This that's is plugged, what we're talking about. Not This was, this was plugged into the back of the Acer monitor. <laughs> Cause sometimes I just gotta fucking put a display, plug something in, uh, and now well, that I'm, it's been removed, uh, is, that di- <laughs> is that display port? No, no, we're talking about this is a little square connector, Pedro. Yeah. So uh, the, I, the, this oh, is no, this, this is, is uh, mini HDMI, not micro HDMI like the Raspberry Pi four. This, this, this is, is a mini HDMI up standard. Yeah, the, the, this <laughs> is mini display port to HDMI, and I also have mini display port to regular display port. I have mini display port too. That uh, the. <sighs> X240 has okay. mini display port. Do you, do you see the connectors on the card? Yep. That's yeah, that's mini display port. <laughs> no, it's you, not. You said mini HDMI. I have mini HDMI right here. <laughs> now I got to find out. Because the ones I have do not 
work with the display board. Welcome back to Linux cabling cast <laughs> as we uh, compare Linux various Google cable cast. ends. Right. <laughs> We're, it's been, you know it's been a while since we've had a Linux hardware cast where we just like what's on our desk? Let's let's show off some stuff. Mirror displays. <laughs> yeah, this is what Linux nerd was talking about earlier. There you go. Mini display port. <laughs> That's what I'm looking. That at. one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Well, you see, I can put a converter on that page and it'll be mini HDMI. I already showed you mini HDMI. No, no, no. I I can get a display port to HDMI cable. Then it'll be mini HDMI. I have a mini display port to DVI cables. (laughs) Well, it's the same fucking signal. That's not, that's not even, that doesn't impress me. It's just the video. I, I can make it. DVI mini, doesn't do audio. I can do HDMI to DVI with code anchors, man. Come on. That's. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I it's... yeah. <laughs> you can do. You... <laughs> yep. I don't know. Like really, the I, only um, like semi weird stuff you'll run into is when you're converting out uh, DisplayPort to HDMI. Yes! Oh my God! Because mm-hmm. like Jesus Christ, that 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 is a pain in the ass. Because like, oh, you need an active adapter. Like, oh, I've got yes. a passive one. Even if you, if you buy the cheaper ones, then uh, even with an active way. adapter, which I have one on the uh, guest box, it is it will work with one Blackmagic capture card. The other one. Tells it to fuck right off. Like, no. Uh-uh. Best I can do on this, 720i. That's clearly a 720i signal you're sending me. No, it's 1080p. No, nope. 720i. Look at, look at the interlacing. Look at it. It's glorious. Which really irritates me because I can consolidate capture cards. <laughs> that one thing. Mm. But then again, saves this is you, why I have these Dells. Slot. Thanks, Mike. Uh, because they have HDMI out. Like, built into the motherboard. Which... Why don't... Yeah, for... Oh, here's a fun one. Motherboards with DisplayPort out. Yep. AMD. Dells. Where? Like the, the next generation Dell Optiplex? No, 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 no. Like no, the no, ones no, you no, have? No. Like, like affordable <laughs> ones. <laughs> the, the, Intel, the Intel Mobos with uh, DisplayPort are reasonably cheap but yeah for amd i don't i don't, I don't know you would you would think that's standard uh the last apu system i bought had a display port out on the back yes that's what i was looking around for thank you for the follow how do you pronounce that pedro Edirkul. got it right right yeah no i was looking one like to make a mini jackbox because i'm still like got my heart gonna give me like a pcie cord so this would be like the perfect thing Pedro would love to watch the stream to build like a mini death machine. You know, the little heat boxes where you gotta like poke around and contort your fingers and it'd be comical watching me do that. <laughs> I've replaced a laptop motherboard on stream. It went well. I'll cut, oh, that, yeah, I'll you, cut that case apart and just spot weld it back together after that. I, I, I don't know, Pedro. You see the uh, the T sixty motherboard replacement event posted last uh, yesterday? Yes, the mm. the ones with the new generation or new or Earth gen. generation, yeah. or whatever thirtieth yeah. gen. Yeah. I don't know. It's Intel. I don't. So, so, so some <laughs> some processor from like the past couple of years. No, not, it's like, like the new one. <laughs> yeah. But oh, they had the twelfth too. All right. <laughs> And uh, it is uh, like a thousand dollars. I mean that that, that tracks because you're paying for like the miniaturized package and whatnot. Yeah, it's custom. It, it's a custom yeah, made yeah. motherboard for well, laptop uh, case if, if, of. Uh, if you if you have chosen came out to preserve your T60 or T61, <laughs> like you you've committed to that life of like this is the lo- the last laptop I will ever purchase. <laughs> and I, yeah, I, I might fucking ship a Theseus this shit, but. <clears throat> God damn it, I'm not getting rid of this form factor. They're like, oh yeah, we, we, we can we can we can cram a bunch of uh, 16 by 10 displays. No four by threes though. None none that we can fit in there without having to like slice the display in parts. 
I have a uh, T42 housing with a T43 motherboard and um, 1400 by 1050 display on it, mm -hmm. which is very, very nice. That it, That is such a nice laptop, and if it were 64-bit, it would still be perfectly uh, sustainable for the future, but it's not. So, the, the, the clock is ticking on that one. <laughs> Oh, look, somebody went to Amazon and sorted by price, didn't they? Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, yeah. they did. Yeah. John, do you intentionally not watch the videos that I make available for people on Linux to not buy those things? Like the one I made? Was that your goal? <laughs> like, of that one, where it wasn't USB 3? Yep. <laughs> Blue SB. I still got this one. Works reasonably well. The <laughs> label right. is a little peeled. Uh, who's what? what? Says. <laughs> All right, focus, focus. <laughs> nope, not right. happening. Warning, everyone! Don't buy those. They're not even USB three. They're USB three point nope, as uh, stated in the video. These are nice, <laughs> and the cheaper versions of these are also very nice, and they also work very well with uh, Linux. So, oh, you mean yes. this one? <laughs> one yes, light. the yeah. EVGX R1 light. Then we got the uh, the ones I like, quads and the mage wells and all the other fun ones. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the truly expensive. Ones. The good now, ones. now with that, now with that thread wrapper support, right? Yeah, no, it's just the certified for OBS sticker <laughs> on the bottom there. Exactly. That, yeah, that's the fucking <laughs> Nintendo seal of approval right there. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Hello, I'm UVC compatible. <laughs> I function like a webcam, like I fucking well should. <laughs> no, no, you need this custom piece of software to extract the video stream. Because fuck you. Well, or a custom kernel driver because you need more than one plugged in at a time. Then all of a sudden, like, UVC, yeah, get fucked. <laughs> you want to play that nesting doll game of, like, sometimes you can get it to work once. I've been there. I know this. Ah, <laughs> uh, 24 bucks. I mean, again, like, even the one I bought that was, like, 15 bucks off Amazon was, uh, like, if you're doing 720, 60, yeah, you're good. It'll do that. Can't really speak to the quality. I was too busy laughing by the fake <laughs> USB three port. Ah, so your roommate is shit faced and talking to a stuffed animal. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that happens. I made it to John's roommate. Think about it. No. Yeah, lip camera is causing lip all the camera uh, in the process. nightmare uh, problems. You've never used a Raspberry Pi camera then. I was about to say, <laughs> I, I just rolled out, and that's why all the cameras are broke on the Pi Zero 2W right now. <laughs> Not been good times. Everyone's figuring, and it changed the GPIO thing out on The it. layout? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that, see, that would actually upset people because, like, ah, fuck, my wiring diagram is screwed up now. Shit. To be fair, they keep changing it with every revision of the Raspberry Pi. They change some of the 5 volt and the ground pins around. So they're not always in the same place. <laughs> and it punishes you, you, people who are like, I'm going to make a real cable for this. Mother. All right. I should have just stuck with uh, my breadboard wire. You got to have the up. individual. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I, yeah it's, 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 it's easier to hot swap if you just have the breadboard. You can just look. No, it's this one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Once I get it sorted out, I'm, I got a video I'm going to be doing for like making a uh, like legit nice uh, webcam using the new Pi. One that's not hacked together. So apparently Pipewire is, they, they, they put it on their to-do list. They're actually looking at implementing like a proper NetJack solution. Like, that'll, that'll, are you talking about the A2Z? No, 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 no. They're, they're like actually implementing the uh, Jack underscore NetJack. Because I've shit. screamed at homie a couple times about like, that is not a replacement for NetJack. Mm. 
Main reason, you need audio hardware in the remote box in order to use it. Or you start NetJack, <laughs> then <laughs> run that on top of it. <laughs> That's connecting to pipe wire on top of everything else, so no. That'll be good, especially if they can get that jack sorted out to where people can use it. Yeah, when I, I started in, in my adventures in Macland, I'm like, okay, what is it going to take to actually get NetJack running on... On a Mac? The, on a Mac. There, there is there is Jack for Mac. And Windows, yeah. Yep. Uh, and it, well, it, And it's just like, well, if I can just have everything just get fed audio from this microphone connected to that laptop, then, you know, I'm hunky-dory. What? Like, have you, like, you've lost your old laptop or what? No, because I, I have... So I have like the so I have Jackbox I have Jack running on this laptop, right? Okay, you're and trying I, to make a Jack I, Mac? No, I'm <laughs> well, I'm trying I'm trying to have Jack receive net jack from my laptop that's that's connected to the DOM. So that I have one so I have it plugged into one thing that will then send the audio to whichever box I need it to go to. Be it this oh, machine so I'm talking to you on. Jack client. Yeah, Jack client, I guess okay. I'm poorly describing this. <laughs> okay. yes. So you want a receiver? Yes. That's not what NetJack's for. I mean, I'm kind of using it in that capacity right now, no? You I have audio the... processing on its own dedicated box to not interfere with shit that's going on, right? Right. You're, you're trying to... But you want to play audio? Like... No, I just want to... I want... I want to record audio from this microphone and send it to my Mac so I can use that for video calls for work. As opposed to having to unplug the DAW from the laptop, plug it into the Mac, and do all that shit, right? I just want to send it the my voice over the network. From the computer you're using now? From the laptop that is running Jack currently, yes. Mm. That is connected to this computer via NetJack. This computer right now is a NetJack client connecting to the server running on the laptop. Mm-hmm. I, I can get... Yeah, uh, the Mac will be another client that connects yes. at a different time when Jordan needs to make a call for work. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any reason he's going to use your main box to call him? Uh, because I don't want to have to dick around with being on two computers at the same time. Well, you're going to be doing that if you got to have another computer up. Um, I well, don't know. I, I, I mean, not really. I, it fucking outputs to the, uh, to the net source and then... Jack runs KVM on the Mac and picks it up. switches uh, the screens yep. in that box can stay off and then just keep using the same monitors yep. and the same microphone, but on the Mac instead of the yeah, Linux box. The only thing I'm, I'm like trying to figure out is like <laughs> if you already got the laptop running it, where does the Mac fit into the equation? Are you just sending it to the Mac? I'm just I'm literally just sending it to the Mac. For the feels? I'm, no, so that I don't have to unplug my DAW and use this microphone on the Mac. That's literally the entire thing. Why would you have to use the microphone on the Mac? That's what I'm... Because I don't want to use the webcam microphone on the Mac. That's terrible. I want to use this microphone that you put all that effort into equalizing my voice with. Also speaking, you got doubled, something doubled in your um, outdoor session I, for your stream. I do? Yep. Okay. I noticed that when you were streaming, but I mean, it wasn't atrocious. It, but l Yeah. Uh, l last week, I, l that was two weeks ago, right? I think no, I this week. This week? Uh-huh. I'll look into it again, but I thought I fixed that. That's, uh, yeah, you got, it sounds like you got just a little bit of reverb added to it. So you got two connections running out somewhere. Yeah. To one thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, what was it? I accidentally hit save and close instead of close on Adore one time mm -hmm. and I had to rebuild the thing and I thought I got it back, but I AJ snapshot. Well, I was I was I was hoping the Adore session would have uh, covered that, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the downside of using AJ Snapshot is, well, I use it to like reconnect everything over the network, but yeah. it will override anything you you have in Adore. Mm. Pipe wire landing and pop, yes. Ev eventually, just don't make sure that it ships all the thirty-two bit required libraries too. Otherwise, uh, things may not work. Pop's got, wait, Pipewire's got 32-bit dependencies? Pipewire has the 32-bit version, ostensibly. <laughs> that, like, 32-bit apps can utilize to connect to the Pipewire server. Yeah, it needs to be able to handle the 32-bit streams as well. 
Hmm. Interesting. Right. Multi multi lip. I, I don't I don't know. On on Ubuntu land, it's it's a, it's a whole other beast. On Fedora, it's just like multi lip. <laughs> on Ubuntu land, it's inconsistent because Ubuntu is doing proper multi lib. Like each individual library has its own thirty two bit version, and then you have mm -hmm. Linux Mint, which still uses IA thirty two. I don't know. I don't have multi lib <laughs> set up on these boxes. They're all sixty four bit. I don't have a. Uh... I mean, if you want to run some older games, you need 32-bit stuff. Like Proton? Yeah, I guess if, if you want to run Proton. the Steam client, you need 32-bit. I mean, it'll launch it. <laughs> as as, as uh, Linus discovered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, was that common, though? I mean, Debian doesn't ship with the uh, i386 repos enabled. Uh, Ubuntu doesn't, uh, you need to enable them via DP, uh, DPKG, or if you manually tell Steam to install via APT, it will enable them. Hmm. All right, you guys ready? It's not a book. Well, yes, we're gonna do it. Yep, that pause button found. There we go. Quantum kernels. <laughs> Quantum audio on Linux. It simultaneously works and doesn't work. Uh, welcome back to Linux. <laughs> Linux. That point on the Tip internet tips. that everyone is right. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, and that's you at home watching us live on Twitch, helping us so for high. Helping us for <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Look at Cocaine Voltron. <laughs> Shrink more, Pedro. No. Shrink more. <laughs> Eat the that's mushroom. As long as I could go, my knees are up against the wall. <laughs> more Get wall. on your knees. More Get wall. on your knees. <laughs> Jordan, tell me what's going on in your life as while I fix the shot live. <laughs> well, I, I con continuing adventures in uh, no heating land. It took until Wednesday to actually get the furnace, the new furnace installed. They had to cut a hole in one of my walls because the, the 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 furnace room was literally built around the furnace after they had installed it the first time. Ooh, mm, I like I like where this is going. Mm. <laughs> in, in, interesting, interesting. Go on. Um, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I also had some adventure adventures in setting up my new work Mac because I wanted to, I want to have this very complicated setup where I could just have this one fucking set of screens and keyboards and switch it, between stuff. Is it analogous to like doing like, I've done all this work. Why? So I can be lazy. Yeah, pretty much. No. <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, front loading all of this effort will be worth it. <laughs> I want to replace this with this. I know those feels, man. I know those feels. Pedro, you got a piece of RAM and you're very proud of it. I bought many pieces of RAM. I went on eBay and I looked for uh, SODIMs that work in 1866 uh, mega transfers per second mode and uh, found a bunch of them. This one is the four gigabyte one. Uh, the others were all two gigabytes because the netbooks, uh, this Toshiba one is the only one that supports four gigs. I have to imagine. And I, I really have to imagine that somebody's just like winning bets with their significant other. Like, told you someone would buy that. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, no, I learned something very important about um, that AMD Brassos uh, APU that the, the, the Toshiba APU? netbook mm -hmm. has. Yes. Uh, the, um, as it turns out, uh, the internet was saying that, oh no, uh, you can only have up to 1333 or 1066 megahertz RAM or mega transfer, uh, RAM in that netbook, anything above that. And it wouldn't recognize it. Well, that's a damn lie because, um, 1600 that's in there right now. And 1866 both work. But the 1600 at CL11 is significantly faster than the 1866 at CL13. So, you have been warned. Okay. <laughs> so, so <laughs> There you go. Someone I, will care. How, how, how many years ago did this hardware, hardware stop production, by the way? Uh, 11. 11. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 2010. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I, Here's the I thing. was at the edge of my seat. 
you're, you're framing it wrong. You gotta, you gotta scream. What's up fam? Retro computing with Pedro. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and retro net of, booking. Yeah. And, 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 and instead of uh lazy game reviews, that's Pedro game reviews, PGR. PGR. <laughs> No, it's Pedro better reviews. Mm, that's that's maybe too hipster for us. What 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 about you, Ven? I heard you had some oh, you adventures know, in Colonel Land. Yeah, you know, just regular week for me contributing and to the Linux kernel. I that kind of happened then. Um, it's like vicariously I did. Uh, you might hear me talk about Tack every now and then. He he's the other person on the planet that realizes like, the incredible deals. And the coolness that you can get with FireWire interfaces in modern times, because people are throwing them away because they don't work with anything. You know, Windows 10, Windows 11, forget it. New Max 64, forget it. Audio technology, does it moves at a glacial pace. Like the stuff from 10 years ago, the new stuff that they sell blinks more. Audio quality, all that, it's not a problem. So Tack hit me up. Uh, we've been talking back and forth on Twitter now because he's discovered how to... Well, I think he's found me on Twitter, but typically we're in the repos and, you know, pulling some ID stuff out of a, cause I have a stack of firewire interfaces cause I do interfacing Linux and doing that. So that's technically is going to make its way into the system D whatever thing. He's one of the all set kernel maintainers. I was like, yay, claim the fame. Uh, so if it breaks, blame Pedro. Um, as, as is tradition. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Also, as well. <laughs> for patrons, if you've ever been curious, I made this just last night when I was walking in, cutting everything on. If you've ever been curious about what goes on, like actually powering this room up from darkness and prisoning it. And uh, yeah, all the fun stuff. I even had to learn how to blur stuff with tracking. I was like, oh, <laughs> can't have that. So, so, so at what point does the blur witch come and attack you? Tuesdays. Ah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you've ever been curious about uh, how this works and is stuck together from this side of the monitor, there it is. I will have that. It's currently up in the announcements tab on Discord, but I'll post it up for patrons in uh, general tomorrow when I get the shows and everything up. But yeah, if you've just been curious, I thought it was there. And in case of my eventual demise, be like, aha, instruction manual. Mm-hmm. End of story. I, if we yeah, could ever I, figure out exactly which of the very similar looking houses on that street you live in. <laughs> no, no they're, 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 it's in three very similar, one of three similar looking boxes, mm-hmm. one, two of which have a bomb in them. So like. Tick, 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 tick. So, can you put the horse in a box? I mean, theoretically, with enough compressed air... And like, I don't, I don't know, some sort of vacuum sealer, you could take all the horse matter and compress it into some sort of Minecraft-esque cube, and you could call it the Steam Linux Update. Oh my god, there's brand new Steam client update. Really? Oh man, it's, it's very, it's very oh, exciting. you guys. Yeah, it's so exciting. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not on that beta life. <laughs> then uh yeah you uh you get all the stuff that has been uh trickling down through the beta highlights include uh 4k pipewire streaming the let's encrypt in the yeah, let's encrypt let's encrypt root cert um issue has been solved <laughs> and uh ceg support in proton so you can play those three games that actually use ceg that people are actually interested in playing um yeah so this is just the beta roundup um yeah, it all it all works now. There were there were some problems for a while with uh, the the uh, pipe wire capture, but I think they've uh, got it to a point where it's semi working. A couple of things are going to be rocking out with this 4K pipe wire capture. That is kind of brilliant in the way that I want to watch that work and melt something. But something that we've been playing around in the beta lately is the CEG DRM through Proton, which is enabling mm-hmm. games that you probably didn't want to play in the first place. One I wanted to play around with was Bioshock Infinite. Duke Nukem Forever, these things. Bioshock Infinite, a little bit on the crashy side, but I'm glad that it's there. And uh, Pedro, do you have anything to add? I've not, not really. Again, it's just the uh, the roll up, and I'm glad that they waited until they did because, well, over the past couple of weeks, the beta wasn't doing terribly well, especially if you wanted to use a controller. On Linux. <laughs> how is how is your experiment using the Steam client entirely with an Xbox controller? It's called uh, getting out of the beta for a week because that after yeah. the, um, like I'm glad Pedro mentioned it because uh, my first I was like, well, his Proton's messed up. No, all across the board. 
It was the Steam beta. Yeah. Uh, Steam input was completely naff uh, to the point where if you enabled a Steam input for a specific game uh, and you say you were using a DualShock or any of the Xbox uh, copy controllers or even an official uh, Xbox controller, it would just not work the moment you turned on Steam input because they changed something. Mm -hmm. And with the previous beta, it was it came out on the 16th. They finally fixed that. But yeah, for like a week and change before that, it if you turned on Steam input, forget it. Your controller's not working anymore. Aww. So I'm glad. I'm glad that they released the client update after they undid that particular cock up. <laughs> well, I mean, you would think I. I we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows, and I think they genuinely were working on something or in the process of because uh, that that's it's something probably usually... called Gabe Gear or something. No, no, no. <laughs> the new Mad. It, yes, yes. Uh, they're going to release a new Steam Link Gear. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, it it, lo it looks like they're they're just trying to sort this stuff out before the uh, the Steam Deck release eventually when they have supply at some point. Like, um, they're still they're still trying to fix a bunch of the game streaming bugs on this beta for under uh, Mesa as well, which is probably going to be necessary. What with that uh, Steam Link being or not Link the Deck not being like the most powerful thing, you might want to be streaming some games from your actual computer while you're on the toilet. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Now, speaking of games, we have a very, very interesting clunkiness this week. A story-driven clunker. Platform, Metroid, vein. man, they hit everything. Jeez, RPG, yeah, the, the, 2.5. Those, uh, those lip injections, man, those were not, <laughs> the those were cheap. <laughs> Thinking about this, man, it's like, in fact, Peter Buckethead has come to town in the form of clunky hero. Now, it's early access, though, isn't it? That's, uh, hmm. Yes. All right. I, but it seems to have a decent sense of humor about it. Went back and watched the trailer. It's kind of dark looking, which is good. And, oh, look, Steampunk, how retro. No. What's this thing going to cost? It's like a million dollars. It's actually pretty reasonably priced. What, what do they have it here at? Uh, 11.90 Canadian, yeah. All right. And it, yeah, it, gives me, it gives me a bit of a, like a, like a sweeted Shovel Knight vibe a little bit. The art looks really cute. Hopefully it doesn't run like butt though, but the, uh, it's pause reviews. Night. <laughs> yeah. Night. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's I, I like what night. they're showing. Like what the trailers that they have and the screenshots, it, that all looks very, very good. Not, you know, uh, I'll buy your game and early access good, but, uh, we'll definitely shoot them an email once it's out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Up next, we got, flashback to fucking 1998 oh man. do you do you do you miss the the eras of like when your arm in counter-strike looked like a piece of wood well uh rot flesh as you um is yeah, this so a this remake is, of something or is this just old are, are we really getting no, hipster no, this, uh, the, 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 this is this is this is straight up retro um they, they call they call it out uh um, god the, was the eating things i like that Look at it. Yeah, it, it it's coming <laughs> soon, uh, and it, it it does the it does the uh, what was it the uh, House of Silence Skellboy thing where you can kill enemies and steal their organs and their parts, and you can gain new powers and new abilities, which I guess is kind of neat. But oh man, like that that is some straight up N sixty four arm man. That's you got you got to go yep. to the doctor to get that. That would make Turok blush. Um, right? Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is like a serious Simon Stein's monster, and uh, I it. like it. How can you dislike <laughs> anything that has organ-based stat system? And, liter it? and literal finger guns. That's pretty good. <laughs> and, no, it, it looks like the, the, the concept is you're basically Frankenstein's monster, and you have to kill things. So, okay, let, let, let's go with that. And you, you know, yes, you know it looks... It looks rough, but I like it. I, I like the old uh, RPG aesthetic. I very much liked Strafe. Uh, I played the crap out of that one. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I'm down for some more. You know, you know, there's there's a very persuasive argument for calling the monster actually Frankenstein because Victor was his father. Refers to him as father, has, ostensibly has the same last name. Um, anyways. But, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's Frankenstein's monster because I know some... It's Time Adam of, Frankenstein, uh, <laughs> damn it. That's his name. You Adam Frankenstein. I'll buy the game if they support 3D effects. Uh, maybe, maybe Warp Frontier will. 
Oh man, I love it when a game makes good on the promises. Uh, at the beginning of October this year, current year, um, this team said, hey, we'd like you to come test our Linux version. And they delivered Warp Frontier, man. And this is point and click type adventure game. Hunter, what the hell's wrong with that guy's head? Um, <laughs> well, he's a space baby. Leave his giant head alone. That is that is quite the giant head. And they, he they is made, as God made him. They've made good on their threat to release a Linux client. I mean, it's currently 1349, so it's 10% off. I mean, if you, the art, this is incredibly well done. This looks like a modern app adaptation. Like, this is what your rose colored glasses come yeah, back, this, like this, King's Quest and stuff like that. When you see, you're like, whoa. Or, <laughs> or, like, or like beneath a steel sky. Yeah, no, they, they, they definitely, it, it's definitely this neat little threading of the needle between like a retro style point and click graphic and like very clearly modern imaging techniques. And it, I think it works really well for the kind of aesthetic the game is going for. Yep. So it's, it's on sale for until Tuesday, you can pick it up for 10% off. But hey, you know, like Ben said, they actually they said they were going to support Linux and lo and behold, it's on Linux. It's native. They did it. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed that it's only 700 megs. I mean, yeah. That, mm-hmm. there, there's nothing is there well there's plenty of things more enjoyable but when you get a retro hipster pixel platformer game and you start downloading and it's like seven gigs really well <laughs> I, you, 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 you gotta think that those backgrounds are probably like straight up bitmap files so scaling that up to uhd is probably not gonna look super good right. <laughs> fair enough so did anybody okay backstory get a little bit of backstory uh a couple of months month, do that again. Back that, up. That was, the, that was that was the headphone camera. Yeah, I know. I, I want to, I want mayhem. <laughs> so, okay. Valve came out and they said, "Hey, we've uh, did did the talky bits with Epic and all that. So, if you want to deal with easy anti cheat, which has been a long standing problem on Linux, you can now do it. It's up to a developer can log into the AC console, click a box, and they're done. Somebody took him up on the offer." Yeah, they did. Finally. Oh, man. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's good to test these things early in development. And Star Citizen has only been in production for, after a quick Google search, 10 years. So, yeah, no, it, 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 I'd say it's a good time. But I'm genuinely get, uh, glad that do, at do least think, someone's doing it. <laughs> do you think we're going to be living in space by the time Star Citizen actually releases? It's never going to release. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah with version 315.1. <laughs> We're going to, uh, they're going to be adding EAC to Star Star Citizen, and they very much want people to test it with Wine and Proton, the XVK, that type of situation. Specifically, they actually call that out. So, yeah, uh, go test it if you have it. Uh, if you're one of the backers, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, might as well, you know, be the guinea pig. They, Let they, us know how it goes. They do say in the known issue, though, that shit is pretty borked, so they are actively soliciting feedback. Yes. <laughs> Probably helpful to give them some dumps or some logs or something if you're going to be uh, if you're going to be sending them any sort of feedback regarding that. But you know what? Hopefully the uh, Robert Space Industry folks tell a better love story than Elite Dangerous, and actually their game is playable under Linux. I don't in know. Some way, I mean, form. you know, at least somebody is publicly giving it a try and say, hey, let's go set this on fire because that's how you're going to fix something. And uh, I say good on them. Oh. Good on what? Oh man! If if you say, "Oh man, Star Citizen got it done before you," is that gonna is that gonna spur some people into action? <laughs> That's throwing some shade, man. Yeah, Throw, <laughs> throwing some shade and be like, "Oh, that, that will be a shit comparison if anyone makes it to a larger right? project yeah. and coming in like they managed to pull that off." But and it it's still got a lot of traction behind it. Um, if you have, I, I was reading through the entire announcement. And I saw some people were having issues and were very upset that you will get the ban hammer if you have more than one pointing device plugged into the system. Yeah. Now, this is universal. This is not like a Linux. Yeah, apparently it's an anti-sheet thing because a lot of what the aim botters do is in software, they'll inject a secondary cursor to uh, nudge you in the right direction. So they're looking for that behavior and they're like, ah, you fucking dirty cheaters, get out of here. Not according to the people that were very upset in the forums that they were trying to do the mental gymnastics of why they absolutely needed the second input device in order to play the um, game. Listen. The X window system supports multiple cursors natively. I just want to use the functionality of my computer, damn it. That's why I run Linux. It's one of the best features of Linux plugging into troubles ago. This the only is, thing oh, I can see it being an issue. <laughs> the only thing I can see it being an issue is if you have one of those 
dual thrusters, uh, dual stick uh, configurations, which is that a sex for toy? driving a spaceship. Uh, no, but it is an actual input. The Saturn had one for virtual on. Uh, if you have one of those and you have each of the joysticks set as its own input device, that would trigger it. So what if I got my standard input, but I have my Thrustmaster plugged into the game port on my Sound Blaster PCI card? Ah, uh, two you different you're devices. Using a trackball mouse. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So a game that I, I think we all like because it is just dark. It de- and it, de- it it destroyed our brains. <laughs> yes. Yes, it, it was the first four chair game that didn't involve any ponies that we've seen this. This far. is like one of those things that you know the, the game just thoroughly kicked my ass to the point, and I didn't even know what layers of nonsense and bullshit were capable until I was watching you and Sandy stream it. I'm like, yep. what is no? Ah, uh, wow. All right. Well, it's going to get more entertaining. Uh, we've talked about this, but it's here. It's finally here. There's an official level editor for Baba is you Baba is pain and uh, Baba make level. Now, there's been a bunch of hot fixes after this release. Cause apparently it might've affected some issues uh being able to uh, finish some levels, which I don't know how that's possible. Like how could you tell? And um, right. Right. <laughs> right. Like, uh, C- c- coming with this is, is is a bunch of levels, including a bunch of rejected Baba levels with developer commentary. And I gotta know, like, what is their criteria <laughs> for excluding a level? No, this is too obvious. You can't. It needs to. It needs to be more fucky. More fucky. You have to just go through and just see some of the nonsense people have like, because you know, there's there's always the fun thing of like, oh, somebody's made this out of you know, Minecraft is a good example of that, right? <laughs> So someone made Doom in Baba. That's fucked up. Did you see this? <laughs> Did you see this? What? What? This is a machine <laughs> running on Baba. This is yeah. This yep. is like some fucking von Neumann machine. Some fucking state device. What the shit, man? I, man. Get wrecked, whoever you are that did that. <laughs> it's 150 new pre-baked levels along with the editor to make your own. So yeah, and uh, Baba is infinite. Yeah, de- definitely, definitely. This this is this is something to just like put on your Steam Deck and keep it there cuz yeah. 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 It, it's that game that you okay, I have a few minutes to cook my brain. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no not 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 even that. Think think about like games that'll stretch out your battery life. You could fucking play this shit forever. Yep. And you probably will <laughs> you get could lower the frame something. rate to like Why? 12 and it'd still be perfectly no. playable. See, I can I, I'm an adult. I can admit it's smarter than me. I don't want to stab myself in the ankle. Rip it. Uh, it's no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Baba, you win. Have your money. We'll, we'll call it a truce. So, earlier this week, I noticed there was some DLC out for a game that uh, we, we all played. And Pedro was like, wait a minute. something Something's weird here. Yeah, Gentlemen, no, it's because it, this is uh, Kung Fury. Uh, the Street Rage game that was basically like uh, one figure death punch from... Um, with the heavy CRT filters and inspired by the movie, Kung Fury, obviously. And I was like, okay, I have it in my libraries and I have seven minutes played, so all right. But it was Windows only. And I, and I was thinking, it's like, was this all, always a Windows only affair? Am I experiencing the Mandela effect? No, apparently not. Uh, the uh, Up until five days ago at the time of recording, uh, it had a Linux depot and then they took it down. And Ven's going to tell you exactly why they did that. But yes, the new version, 134, uh, actually brings some new stuff. It has some uh, free DLC, which is the story campaign with just Kung Fury himself. And then you have the new one with the Hoff, where you can play as the Hoff and enjoy the new uh, story mode, which is a little bit more involved than the previous one. So very good i very much look forward to actually trying it it you is uh, five like, pounds exactly, 19. They, they made a game out of it it was just like a one punch man like yes. left right left right okay check this out though <laughs> we're watching it on a live stream they they fucked up a little bit because uh even <laughs> even the windows version if you go back and try to play the original mm-hmm. which is included you get the dlc they they forgot to enable left in a game that only has left and right control Mm. Yes. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> There's a lot of other things like resolution options don't exist. And um, 
that's kind of a problem since Unity now you can't turn the, off uh, the CRT filter you, oh, either. Hell which no, is they, annoying. They, you would see how shot tastic. But hey, man, you can play as Triceracop. That's or, pretty badass. Yeah, Hacker Man, and of course, and of course, the reason I picked it up and streamed a bit last night, the DLC brings the Hoff. <laughs> but can you eat cheeseburgers <laughs> off the floor? You know what? In my live stream, you could, because I had the Hoff uh, gif eating some cheeseburgers when I was talking. <laughs> All right, so you, you have to bring your own cheeseburger. Got it. Okay. Pretty much, man. So this is the day at the beach. That was the reason for the update. Now, I went through the forums, kind of looking around, because, again, again, this was like a little novel, the original release of this, was just a little fuck around game, right? It's like, oh, that's cute. Look, it's got the people from the movie. Thing. All right. Now, you never fuck around with it again. Seven minutes. You're in and out. But. Yeah, it had a Linux version. It had to. And then, yes, it was a, it was never officially released. It was a beta that you could log in and do the thing and play it. And they forgot about it. Apparently, whoever ended up making this version in the forums, because somebody said, hey, could you please remove the Linux depot? Because they were having problems getting the Proton set up and working with fighting that. And they're like, we have a Linux depot? <laughs> <laughs> so that guy left the project i see <laughs> yeah no the volunteer kind of you know stopped volunteering <laughs> i don't know this is the most basic bitch half done unity title so i mean you, you, uh, you get, you get spoilers it is one finger death punch but with kung uh, kung fury skin on it and you can't disable the it, crt it is, filter here's the update though <laughs> i mean with a day at the beach if you bothered to get the dlc you do get multiplayer you do get a mario leveling system and again you can play as triceracop and the uh, half four cheers yeah you could already play as Triceracop on the original. <laughs> you just had to unlock him. But first. now you can play as Triceratops. It's like a Triceratops, but each horn and, is game. And, and more importantly, it's an actual game. <laughs> you can yes, punch it. It has an actual game mode. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next. Oh my God! Nvidia is open sourcing stuff. What kind of fucking mirror mirror Spock universe have we? Shut up, you AMD into? shill. Never. <laughs> Monster Cameron. That's right, and I pull off my mask. And it's like, it was me all along. Again, it's <laughs> Triceracop. Yeah. Hey everyone, we're going to be switching over to intermission. If you never watched this before, you might have noticed people bang assing things, and they don't do that just because they're like, fuck these keys on the keyboard. <laughs> Nay, there's a completely. Fuck them right in the ass. More nefarious fuck, purpose fuck because the they want to head over to vote.linuxgamecast.com where you can vote on show titles. Let's take a look and see what we have. Razer's APU. I'm not against that. N64 arm. I'll give, I I'll, I'll, I'll give the Blur Witch a boat. Tricera Hoff. <laughs> Sirius Salmonstein. The Blur Witch. Twitch Bridge always has the best suggestion. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. spitting mad fire backed up with solid facts. That's like li literally, all we need to do is add like a word in front of that prompt, and it will go away. <laughs> yes, or a, a maybe a space or an underscore or something. Yes. <laughs> Why would I ever do that? <laughs> Look. Good man, good man. <laughs> it, it, it is slightly more of an inconvenience to fix the problem than it is to live with it. It's so a I thing don't. now, and it's working, so we're just going to leave it. I, listen, I am 100% on board with the whole, the inconvenience this causes by breaking is worse than the inconvenience of me fixing it. So. Well, there's, there's that, and the surefire way of not getting me to not fix something, complain about it. <laughs> All right, I need to pee. I'll be back. Man, everybody, you got to play with the DLSS on Linux. Just go to the store, buy an NVIDIA card, and have at it. I know what it was. What are you doing? Uh Fixing the door session. I know where I know where the duplicate was coming from. Mm. I had an. I, I, I was. It was in the, the session the whole time. 
It was. It, it was. I w- So here, 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 here's what was happening. I was looking at the outputs. Mm-hmm. I had a duplicate input. Uh-huh. Well, I had that problem because um, I still had uh, Pedro and Sandy like wired into the session, mm-hmm. and I was getting like the reverb from uh, you know like that shit. Mm-hmm. Right, right. This is before you called in, and I did all the troubleshooting, and I finally figured out what it was. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, was- I had reverb. And it was- <laughs> Ah, that that'll do it. Never thought to check that. I'm like, that was clearly a fucking wiring issue somewhere in the DAW. Mm. Yeah, it's just that's a standard Mark Six key puller. Mm. Okay, so up oh, update update on my DAW weirdness. So apparently, apparently this issue where like the DAW doesn't initiate initiate or initialize with Jack properly goes away if you increase the sample rate and then kill it and then start it up again with the original sample rate you wanted. See, I don't trust Dr. Worm to uh, launch tech. No, I'm fucking launching this from a command line. Like I have, like my, my script is Jack, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then immediately like sleep 30, run on door, load the session. But the, like the, oh, I, I did actually try set it, doing it with uh, Jack control like you suggested. Ah, uh, didn't didn't affect it. It like it, it had the same startup issue. So I think it's it's either something with this DAW specifically. Maybe it's a problem with USB on this Lenovo. It's I, a laptop, I, so. I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> man. I mean, if you're doing everything on one box, Pipar is fine. Uh, Pipar is fine for desktop use. It'll get there. It'll get there. I mean, the only dangerous thing about Pipewire is that it's... There's a little bit of marketing going around right now that it's, like, ready. Like, it still needs some more time. <laughs> right, but it's 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 the whole it's the whole Wayland situation where a lot of, like, the slow progress on Wayland came from, like, people pussyfooting around it. Yeah, Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey man. In in video, no, I, I'm 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 gonna again. I'm gonna point that squarely at canonical. They wasted <laughs> they wasted four years of everyone's life with mirror. And that, you know, that, in uh, in defense, canonical like Waylon was ten years old at that point. Yeah, and <laughs> they uh, they created something that was half as functional in a quarter of the time. But I mean, like, think about it. Like, there's not a lot of other, like, 30-year-old pieces of software that, like, folks are still using regularly, like, on their desktop computers. Give me a minute. (laughs) (laughs) Unless you want to go more abstract and talk about the concept of a mouse cursor and icons you click on to launch things. (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm just talking about like X or like at the X software. Yeah. Like the, the, oh no no! I wanted to do applications, man. Can we dial it back like, the requirement down to like twenty years? <laughs> Nautilus, <laughs> not dolphin, dolphin baby. How about no, no no? It can't have now. If it's been updated, that that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> F- I, I, guess, I guess that throws FSV out because they've kept that up to date to like run on modern Linux. So because I, I need to check. Hang on, let me SSH. <laughs> I think I have. I'm legitimately running a 20 year old piece of software right now um, that has not received an update since it was originally. Um, I did that for a laptop that I don't have anymore. It's one of the ones I sold on eBay because it had a very, very specific CPI set up for the media buttons along the top. It used its own thing. And yeah, that was 15-year-old code that you had to basically hope that you could compile on a modern distro. Which after some clever editing and a lot of uh, stack overflow, I managed to do <laughs> Let's see. See if you can read that mice type. I can't. I'll have to zoom and enhance on it. Oh, I hate the new way it does things. Where's my pop-up mm-hmm. window? I've gotten used to that. 
No. Oh yeah. No but, pop up window. But, now you gotta hit enter. I just did <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> What's the copyright on that? Somebody zoom in. That's... Uh, copyright. Oh, original. Copyright. Uh, zoom. Two thousand three. So not quite twenty years. <laughs> not quite twenty. 18 years. <laughs> Originally from 2009, so yeah, it was updated last in... No, no, 2000... Oh, okay, it has been updated. Uh, 2013, 11. says? 11, yeah. below that. 11? Or am, I, am I misreading that? Cause Where does it say 2013? Uh, four, third and fourth line? Or uh, One, maybe, two, maybe three, I'm... Four, that's 2011. Maybe, maybe. That's eleven. All right, yeah. I'm just misreading it. Twenty eleven. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the when when I zoom and enhance, it looks like a three, but <laughs> that's also because it's like fucking it pixelated is, dial. It, it yeah. is a postage stamp on UHD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that and that that uh, that screenshot is like you can no. only zoom and enhance so far. Before. It's not helping things. No. Well, the the thing that really fucked me up well, though was like when they first started posting like the gigapixel images, and you're just like. Yeah, take this little square zoom. Oh, those are the last picture. You get lost yeah. in those, man. You're like, ooh, because you're like the mountain over, like looking yep. at somebody's like, drink. <laughs> yeah, there's there's just like, oh, what, what, what's that? What's that little pixel? It's a bird. Okay. Uh, hmm. oh, <laughs> like, what's that little pixel? That's a building. Ooh. No. <laughs> yeah, and you can like zoom in and like see fucking people working in it. Yeah. Like, God damn. That's wild, That's man. That's spooky, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's that. Even with, like, consumer stuff, like consumer lenses, you'll see the uh, YouTube video of, like, you'll see some people up, like, oh, that looks like it's kind of wavy, and, like, ah, it's not the best resolution. They zoom out, and it's, like, 20 kilometers away. Like, <laughs> ah, well, all right, well. Right? The Linux version of The fog work. around here never clears that you can see more than five kilometers in any direction. <laughs> So, uh, did Pyramid Head move in next door okay? Yeah. It's better than living next to Loudhead. I'm just saying, it's usually cloudy enough and raining in places that you can't see more would than you, five Would places. you move into a subdivision <laughs> called Shouty Hills? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When we, when we were looking at houses, I have to I have to admit that a part of me was judging the, the <laughs> listings based on the street name that Fuck they yeah. were on. Of course. <laughs> Like I don't want to go to points with a Z Avenue. I don't want to live there. I don't. I don't want to explain to people that Ad I live. G Avenue. <laughs> Cheeto Bandito. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> so apparently Portugal's kind of shifty with the olives. That big producer of anything olive related. Why is shifty though? At, at restaurants. Here's a pro tip. Uh, if uh, you, you go to sit down and you know like here in the states you'll get like uh, some chips or something like that you know salsa and stuff. If, if they slide those olives onto your table don't touch them or you buy them oh yeah no if you touch any of the hors d'oeuvres you're playing you're paying for all of them wait, 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 whether wait, wait, you've wait, wait, had a teeny what, tiny what, bit or all of them what, 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 did, you, what did you call them hors d'oeuvres hors d'oeuvres okay they're like hors d'oeuvres <laughs> Damn it. I've been infected. <laughs> hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Les d'oeuvres. <laughs> Welcome back to We've Just Evolved in French Gibberish. We. Oui. We. Oui. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est? Le grand oui mange le pamplemousse. Oh, shut up, man. Oui. See, there's layers of that. There's somebody in Quebec judging you, and there's somebody in France judging them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. I learned that story that dude, uh, like my background noise, like cycling through, uh, down through Portugal into Spain. And everyone was like asking, why aren't you eating the olives? And he goes through the thing of like, yeah, if you touch the olives, I charge you for them. I'm like, no, we don't do that in yeah. Spain. That's a Portuguese <laughs> thing. <laughs> Uh, in Portugal, they'll, uh, if you, depending on the restaurants, if you go to a restaurant where the owner is particularly greedy, you'll get charged for them whether you touch them or not. <laughs> hmm. 
So what I'm yeah, hearing you is have that to I should... then complain at the end and threaten to write down in the complaints book, and that's the point where well, they'll go fine. We won't charge you for them. They have a complaints book. What about what? What is that? Do they, do they, the, the, the it, it, it you are legally compli- required by law to have a okay. So there is book. a complaints inspector. <laughs> All right, yep. that sounds like a tight uh, shot. I was going to imagine that there was like some pedestal at the center of Portugal where there is like a massive tome <laughs> where you can make a pilgrimage to and write your complaints about I'm, the listen, olives I, that you've to I'm looking at it from pay. this lens. That sounds like a very, very nicely corruptible position to get. Yep. <laughs> the, key, the keeper of the complaints book. I'm just saying, I can overlook some complaints on these books. You know what I'm saying? That, just, that's, that's, like, that's like being the king of Yelp reviewers. Dude, I'll have like... Two handfuls of olives every time I go. Oh yeah, it it is basically officialized Yelp reviews. (laughs) Every uh, every business is required to have a complaints book, and anyone who wants to write in the complaints book is required by law to be able to do so. So, uh, in order to stop people from doing so, uh, business owners will often um, go out of their way to bend over. The Sony DSC, was that the uh, floppy camera? I don't think so. That came after. 1.3 Cybershot Digital Optical. It's either the floppy disk or the UMD one. <laughs> That's got to be... Yeah, I don't, the floptical? What are you talking about? That's your standard floppy disk. No, I was just reading the name of the thing. I don't trust what it said. <laughs> That's some marketing right there. Floptical. Get the out of here with that. Op- We've been promised like optical based. That, that I don't know. We're we're encoding stuff into crystals like for realsies right now. We were legit. Mavica was a floppy disk. Mavica. Okay. okay. <laughs> that thing was laughable. Even even when it was reasonably current, it was like came out like three years after that. I was at an art thing with a friend, and she had one. I'm like, oh, neat. Click. Uh, 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 uh. Enough to where you turn around and start looking at it. You're like, really? Okay. Then. <laughs> 1.6 megapixel. Whoa. <laughs> I can go lower than that. I still have my uh, Casio QSV 200. It connected to oh. the computer over RS-232. Oh, it's serial. Oh, yeah, man. Eight kilobits a second? <laughs> or kilobytes a second? One of them. <laughs> so my uh, my girlfriend got her uh, got her face tattooed today. She got, like, eyebrows put on. And now she looks like Spock. It's, it's pretty you funny. You talk about burying the lead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I want to come hang out with your wild-ass life. That's, like, the... After dinner story. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> so do you commit to something like that? Do you just keep your eyebrows like shaved or do you just like, so, go, do you go all in and get them lasered off too? So she's got Hashimoto. So at, at, at some point all her eyebrows like fell out except for like a couple of them. So normally she just like puts on makeup and like fake eyebrows. So. See, okay, okay. That makes better than like somebody's yeah. like YOLO. I brought yeah. tattoos. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, and apparently, like, if you get the good eyebrow t- tattoos, it's not just, like, the eyebrows. They do, like, scarification, so it looks like hair, too. Well, I, okay. Right, okay. See, now I want to look they like bad They give it a little bit ones. of texture, you so know, the it looks that, like yeah, follicles are still... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But right right, right, right now, she's got the, the, the Romulan forehead, mm. because it's all, it's all swollen, because it's a fresh tattoo, right? So... Uh, how did they d- deal with the, uh... Rap? They, oh, um, like take him saran wrap to her head and like hold your breath. No, ap- 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 <laughs> apparently, apparently the those ones heal pretty fast. Mm. So the ap- you don't need wrap for them. I asked about that too because I thought she'd need to like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I can never find the clip, but I don't know if that was America TV or in the UK because I was young. But uh, there was this lady because they were doing like a tattoo thing, mm-hmm. and we're talking full on like 80s late 80s early we're like bright blue eyeshadow and like the lipstick and the like overdone right blue, like comically and yeah. they were interviewing her because she's like yeah i went ahead and just got my makeup tattooed on so i don't have to ever have to worry about it again mm-hmm. 
And it was like a modernist looking. You've seen like eighties, like overdone, like. But but like the the, the shot in twenty seventeen or some shit like. I want to see what that looks like. All these years later, because that's a rough look these days. Like we're talking Frankenfurter level type. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what I was kind of imagining, like a uh, mm-hmm. like Grace Jones level makeup, yeah. of like very very dramatic angling and whatnot, right? And, Blue yeah. eyeshadow and stuff. I'm like, I, yeah, that, that's ballsy. Like that, that's yeah. sticking with the look. However, yeah. I will say this: maybe you saw it on Reddit, you saw it on Twitter, or wherever you were at uh, on the instas. The uh, kid going down there were an indoor skate park, and he kind of yoloed over a ramp and like just obliterated this other kid that was crawling out of one of the foam block pits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, man. Punks with your foam blocks? That used to be real. Yeah. But I, I, it was very heartening. It's like, yeah, we used to dress just like that 30 years ago. Like, I, it's, yeah. good, it's good to know the uh, skater bullshit uh, wardrobe has just remained perfectly well, flat line the entire time. You, you gotta imagine there's a functional aspect, too, because if you're gonna be eating shit, you might as well wear baggy clothes to like absorb some of the some of the have as much of the impact as possible. Mm. <laughs> stop stop you from like getting cheese grated on the pavement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's what I was talking about. Not that Linux nerd, but they made a breakthrough, and I think it was either the write speed or read speed of data crystals. Hmm. So we can straight up stargate that shit. Yeah, I'm just like, when, 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 when can I have my Stargate console? Come that, on, man! And they better be multicolored too, and they better go <laughs> dish, dish, when I fucking plug, plug them in. Yeah. Right? I don't care. You I don't, I don't care if it's just PC a little Raspberry speaker. Pi right. with like a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that song. <laughs> do they have to? I don't care if they light up. Put some LEDs in them. I, I I always like the the Asgard computers with like the weird mouse. That's like yeah, turn it sideways and mm-hmm. like do all this. Yeah, like I want I want some of that shit, man. Who watched the first episode of um, Discovery? Ah, uh, I don't uh, like the oh, new uniforms. That <laughs> yeah, that's back. It's back, back to the future. Back to the future. I don't, I don't mind them being in the future because then it means they don't have to like fucking bend over backwards to like explain why no one else in the previous Star Trek has mentioned any this of this is shit. True, but then butterfly people start shooting at you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like. Yeah, it, here, I, I like I, I like where they're going so far, but my my main recurring issue with Discovery that they keep fucking up every season is that it's a very fun ride, and then they just can't fucking stick the landing because they 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 do they do the mystery box shit, and then you get the explanation. And it's like, well, this is stupid. You just wasted. Like, I just sat through fifteen hours of television for this. Like, fuck you. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean. I, I kind of I'm, glossed over this episode, but now I'm all I want is the uh, section 13? 31? 31, 31, yep. whatever. Uh, Giorgio, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, give me that. I'll probably enjoy that because that's going to be more DS90 type, you know, darker. Strange New Worlds is supposed to come out soon. What the, is that? The, that's the Captain Pike. They're just, they're just oh, back right. to doing like re- regular ass Star Trek. They're just like, fine, we heard you. God damn it. Here's here's your Star Trek back. Give me um uh what's his name? Captain Orca. Morca. Lor- Lorca? Yeah, like yeah. He was identifiable Cap- as a character. Like the Lorca Cap- pre-story and then like the pre yeah. Cap- Captain thing. Captain Malfoy. <laughs> he didn't have a redemption arc so much as like <laughs> <laughs> he had an undemption arc. <laughs> he didn't have so much a redemption arc as they couldn't afford to hire Jason Isaacs for the rest of the season, <laughs> and so they killed him off. <laughs> Although it, it was it was the, it was the second or third Harry Mud episode where they just keep murdering him over and over again was pretty good. <laughs> where it's just like the montage of like the zillion fucking ways this dude killed this other guy. No, I haven't watched any of the uh, Star Trek Prodigy. Uh, I, so I, wa- I watched the first three episodes of that. I don't think you'll like it. Okay, here's the um, thing. Here's here's the thought that just hit my brain, mates. Because uh, if you rewind all through October, we're sitting here going, man, it'd be nice if something new came out. Here it is all coming out and it's new. And I'm just sitting here going, not like this. It not sucks. Like this. What, are, what are you doing, people? <laughs> my God, yeah. What are we although, all, I, hang on, I, I, I want to get the audience's reaction. Did anybody else watch Cowboy Beat Boop? We got thoughts on that. 
Check out the pre pre super shows in yeah. for uh I don't know what Pedro's been up to this week. Playing with laptops. <laughs> Working mostly. <laughs> Bar bargaining for SODIMs. <laughs> No, that I just went on eBay and someone was selling them for like two pounds each. So I was like, all right, give me. Well, I mean, you had to search <laughs> I'll for get them, one right? for each netbook. <laughs> I wouldn't would assume I, because either that or eBay likes you because eBay never recommends me anything that I'm looking for. Like so, I, hmm. I, I mostly I, uh, shop for that kind of stuff. So that's all the recommendations I get. <laughs> I, I, I saw Ryan posting about him hacking his old iPod and I'm like, I found my old like 160 gig iPod classic. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hmm, is that a project I want to take on? Replace the internal mechanical drive with an SSD. No. Swap out the battery. Like, Have okay. Part of me gets that if I'm looking for something as a something to do project, but yeah, the practicality of that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I guess I, I have a high capacity music player right now. It, it was more of an, yeah. honestly, for me, it was more of an issue when like, um, a SD, like high capacity SD cards were really expensive, like maybe seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Like e even if you wanted like 128 gig SD card, that's like 200. Bucks. Aren't they so stupid cheap now? Like 512? Yeah. Yeah. One terabyte. Yeah, and, and, and like, what? And, and, and now it's, now it's fucked up. 512 is under 50 pounds. <laughs> that's why I want to get that stupid uh, black magic recorder thing because it's got like dual i can just shove some sd cards in there hit record like fuck it whatever but but like now even like my, my one plus seven this has 256 gigs of onboard storage that's way more than the music i have like now now it's not an issue before when i had like 100 gigs of music that i wanted to keep with me at all times then an ipod was kind of necessary I, I remember I had the 15 songs that would fit on my Sony MP3 phone. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, you listen to those 15 songs until you get sick of them. And then you put on another 15. And well, I mean, I had a it, 256 megabyte uh, MP3 player that took a single AAA. I could listen to music for about two hours bitch, before I needed to change that not <laughs> make me go break out my four megabyte compact flash. <laughs> I have a 16 uh, gigabyte compact flash card in the DSLR that Mir sent me. <laughs> gigabyte. Megabyte. Yes. I used to have a one. I, I don't know what happened to it. I found this card, this SD card, in the bottom of a box when I was breaking shit down. And I popped it in. There was actually something on here. It was a video from when I was working at Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking I, of those cards. Okay, so I'm, I'm staging, like, getting ready for this new Raspberry Pi video. Yep. And I'm like, well, fuck. I need my cards and like maybe i got some in my raspberry pi box and i open it up and apparently i just bought a sleeve of them because they were so mm. cheap like 16 gig ones i got like 10 yeah 16 gig ones <laughs> oh man full, yeah full size sd my god you can just like fucking nope. clear house on that <laughs> all right let me get some, although let me get you can't even buy full size yeah. sd anymore uh yeah it's, you can well, no, you you can, but it's just it has it's just the adapter. Like, oh yes, oh I okay, yes, oh well, I mean, I'm sure you, can you go get the micro eBay. SD with the adapter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even then, if you crack open the full sized ones, it's just the adapter, and they like sealed the back, and there's a little fucking yeah. <laughs> it has a micro SD in there too. Yeah. <laughs> why 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 would you make two things when you could just make one thing and sell it twice? <laughs> this is why I fucking hate technology. Binning. When, once I learned what that was, it's like, oh, okay, so it's just all bullshit. Got it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they set out to make the best thing they can, and the one that didn't work terribly well, they sell it as a, uh, oh, it's a lower end version. <laughs> Honestly, ugh. yeah, my, micro, micro SD is tricky, right? Because, like, it definitely serves a niche if you have, like, for cameras. Because for phones and shit, cloud storage and, like, just data streaming has replaced a lot of just the traditional crap you would keep on a device. Um, but if you're, if you're, if the purpose of the device is to have local storage, then yeah, like, I don't see, I think, I think, like, maybe capacity drives up, maybe, I, I, until, like, write speed becomes, like, the biggest bottleneck. 
I don't think there'll be a PC. Uh, uh, and you card need card a card significant card. resolution uh, to because even like the red uh, eight, what is it, eight K cameras? Those use SATA. Uh, you know, M SATA you, you know drives. What? <laughs> if if they if they ruggedize the connector, I could see NVMe making the being being the killer there. Yeah, you just because like have... right, right, yeah, you just need to be able to like fucking remove it and not like destroy the thing that it's plugged into. So, yeah, right, right. <laughs> something that isn't the M.2 Mini PCI uh, E connector. Yeah, because if you because if you get, could get that throughput on like cameras and stuff, like mm -hmm. holy shit. And a lot of ARM stuff already does that. You have the Raspberry Pi and the um, the RK3399 that Pine64 uses. Yeah, that can do NVMe. Mm -hmm. It's only 4X, but it can do it. <laughs> I, I mean, you're, the CPU on those fuckers aren't fast enough to, like, bottleneck it, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, like, all, it's like, yeah, it's by four, but, like... It's by four, Unless but you're getting the speed of one lane. It's like one gigabit a second. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What 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 are what are you pushing across that on your Raspberry Pi that it even like brings you up to that? You're just you're just moving arbitrary <laughs> data back and forth to make it seem like you're doing something. Check it out. Rusty's at Mastodon. Who's at Mastodon, eh? Right. Oh. Opeth and I've seen I have seen Opeth Lab, I have seen Mastodon Live, I've I have seen not Mastodon, seen them together. Seen Op Mastodon's local. Yep. My girlfriend, my girlfriend used to be a roadie, so she has a grudge against Mastodon. <laughs> apparently, they were apparently they were assholes to her at a venue she was working at. So, oh, I, 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 I mean, I gotta, you can make gotta, some tiny M dot twos. You can. Well, they've shown regular that regular size twenty two eighty uh, M dot two well, NVMe SSD, and then you have well, you, 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 uh, twenty two thirty. You saw the 80 the itty bitty ones they're using on the Steam Deck, they're like, yeah, yeah they're that's this, yeah. this size right yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> See, all this is like fuck mothering point because they showed that they were going to do an NVMe interface for spinny drives. Yeah, but they got yeah. that worked out, which means that the technology does exist for me to adapt one of the original IBM micro drives, the spinny hard drives that <laughs> were the size of a compact flash, onto an M.2 stick. Yeah, I, I was I was reading about that because I'm like, why the fuck do you need NVMe for spinny drives? Like, oh, storage arrays. Yeah, storage arrays. I mean, you don't have to like deal with all the bullshit cabling and all that. You just yeah, like a density, plane and the and amount of spinny yeah. drives you can fit into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what was interesting is they were like showing the performance with JBot. I'm like, who the fuck uses JBot? Let me let me let me let me let me, let me see some of that like RAID 10 performance, man. Show me show me some. Show me an array of spinny drives that can, like, kick the shit out of an SSD. I want to see that kind of fucked up shit. That doesn't exist anymore, man. No. But it, it could. It could. That would be amusing. But I'm not going to go back to spinny drives. <laughs> it only costs three times more in cooling for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and power? And yeah. power. Yeah. <laughs> Actually having to spin up all of those bladders. <laughs> I don't have any spinny drives anymore. The... Running, yeah, uh, they're, they're they're all in the they're all in the server, mm. they're all in the TV box, and th and that is like, that's just mass storage, right? Like it's it's hooked up to the TV so that I make rentals on the local video store and then I watch them in my den. The uh, four terabyte uh, Samsung is under four hundred dollars. The SSD, yeah, yeah, it's oh man, it's I'm like I'm at that point now. Seventy for four terabytes of Samsung SSD. Well, yeah, and it's not I, 800, I, so that's good, <laughs> right? Well, but but that's like, yeah. Uh, how much does a four terabyte spinny disk cost? A, a, a 720 a RPM. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of this 5400 <laughs> RPM bullshit. Why do people think that's acceptable? 379 right, for the 870 QVO SATA three. So that's what you're up against. Okay. Because that okay, so that's still that's still twice what the spinny disk costs, but like, Bruh. also, also, <laughs> the speed though, man. No, I, I'm I'm at the point where I'm like looking at replacing all the drives in my NAS because they are of age. Where I'm like, mm, 
maybe you get, you we get should, the uh, speed and the peace of mind that it's either going to work or it's, it's not a Rube Goldberg mechanism yeah. in there with moving parts flying around at a quarter of the speed of sound. Yep. <laughs> 20k RPM, bro. So, how often do you want to change that spindle? <laughs> no, I. Well, I mean, I still have a Nouvelle Netware with like a stack of uh, 15k's in it, which are all like one gigabyte. <laughs> Speed, capacity. Dude. <laughs> I don't know. I just store it on other people's computer. We we'll call it the cloud. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are clouds made of? Linux servers, mostly. Dude. <laughs> AT and T. The dicks. The dicks at AT and T are releasing. They they have a new, two new plans. They have a two gigabit and a five gigabit. <laughs> okay. And and how much dick do you actually need to suck to get that? Residential 5 gigabits, 180. That's not bad. No, it's not. It's under 200, yeah. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> no, like. How, how would you even fuck with 5 gigabit? What? Okay, yes, I could get I, that I, in the house because I have a fucking 10 gigabit switch, but how else? Like, how do you get that into a normal computer? You don't. Wi Fi? It's gonna choke it. Nope. No, no, well, uh, well for those wait. motherboards with a two and a half gig. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, what, 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 what you do is you have, like, uh, an AP on every level of the house so that everyone can fucking get on Netflix and not like fucking tank network performance. That's what you want. <sighs> oh, dude. Five gigabit. Even if it is five yeah, gigabit down and like 500 up, that's, that's still five, pretty good. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, st I'm still salty that I'm only getting 800 up for my gigabit connection. Hmm. It's like, Why? I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> gigabit modems don't have gigabit outputs. They literally just what? Yeah. So yeah. So, some 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 of them uh, some of them do. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people were uh, taking um, because of the gigabit modems would have the uh, four ports on them and just bonding. Hmm. All right, everyone. Let's do some news. Fluffy clouds. Pause. Unlimited speeds. This is. I will. Portugal cellular <laughs> network. Very nice. We we will not limit your speeds. The protocol. One hundred percent coverage. But you have no um. Um. Like um, ah, competition. What was it called? <laughs> no, no um, vote isn't there like in the internet freedom, um, whatever. Like that type of situation where uh, a lot of the providers in Portugal will charge you an extra if you want to say have unlimited YouTube. You can pay an extra five euros a month, and oh, yeah, instead so, of just yeah, reaching no. your cap, T tiered service, tiered service, yeah, the yes. <laughs> but they also have at the airport unlimited Net neutrality. Yes, thank unlimited you. Unlimited sims <laughs> for twenty four euros a month of unlimited yes. data, and you get full. Vodafone's speeds. pretty good about that. Uh, like the dude, <laughs> yeah, I, I have proof. The guy was riding a bike all the way through Portugal. So yes, yep, he did it on one sim. <laughs> yeah, I, what I I I was on uh, DNA in Finland. I was supposed to be on Telia because that was where the people I was working for, but their shit didn't work. So uh, mm. I went to, I went to their competitor. That's how it works. All right, yep. new segment, kind of chunky, but let's get into it in three, two. I think it's about time we took a bit of a break from uh, the news of the week to thank you, and I, I would we're personally have a like to thank like. You Canadian stereo. Nah, see. <laughs> well, I, I mean, Pedro, you don't Portugal understand. Portugal very well be back one of these days. You don't understand what you've put me through own. the past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you he's had to listen to complete Canadian. <laughs> he's had to listen to so many rants about He Man. At this point, he's like, "Sup, stud? What's going on? If you want to ask us what's going on, you can head on over to Patreon.com." It was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Become a Patreon. You get cool stuff like access to our Discord channel. Uh, the You get access to the um, pre-pre-super shows. That extra, ha- not half hour, hour of Linux gaming content where well, we give our... Listen to it at 7x speed. 7x speed? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> If, if 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 you want to hear Al Ven and the Chipmunks, go ahead. You can you can absolutely do that. Um, yeah. So uh, that's uh, like one of those things. Access, you play it backwards. Al shows up. And you're like, Ooh. no, it, 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 it's it's just Chicago. Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. Speaking of, speaking of Chicago, that's one of the tiers on Patreon. Chicago kicks ass if you give us six dollars sixty six bucks an episode but yeah um a little bit lower than that you get access to the show notes you can watch us make the show uh in textual form issue corrections suggestions just make random comments in our google doc it's it's fun um yeah pre pre super shows and what else what else we got you have you had a, a video that you uh posted on the announcements in discord didn't you then i did uh, creeping around in the little studio my sacrificial room i'm like hey how do you cut all this on it is there because i know some people are just like hey how does the Linux studio get cut on and it's not terribly exciting, but I did my best to cut everything on with one hand. Hopefully you'll like it, but a couple other things we get bonus shows like Jordan was saying that pre pre super shows. And that's pretty dope. If you're wondering about our opinions on multiple new shows that came out this week up to and including uh, the wheel of time, that's where you get that nonsense, but no Star Trek takes though. Not this, not, not this week, none this week. Stay tuned next week. Uh, if you like this, what we're doing right now, a lot of people like to show up for the just live experience, sit back, listen to it, whatever's going on. But if you can't make it and that's not your thing, you want it in podcast format. We can give you that four hour rock block just like that. Video versions available as well as a as thank you, man. You can kick us a buck a week. That means a lot to us. Yep. And we get to keep doing this fun, fantastic things. And uh, do we get any other like super awesome rewards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, if you're if you're a paid, if you're a Discord, uh, not Discord. God, yes, I'm a Discord. Subscriber. Shut up, I'm a Discord. If you, I don't understand if, uh, your if you moon are, speak. I'm a Discord. <laughs> you are. You run D date constantly. I know. If, if you're if you're a Twitch sub, you can get access to Discord as well. That's also pretty cool. Uh, L, if you give us enough money, you can buy your way onto the show. We have a store as well to cover your filthy, shameful body and our filthy, shameful bodies. Well, they fit a Discord. Uh, we got. Yeah, well, I mean, you can get it from Discord. Listen, if you man, I got a dress for my new life. You got a living <laughs> exclusively on Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you can, you can uh, cover up your shame life. with stickers. <laughs> drink, drink your salty tears out of your Linux Gamecast Hell Elks mug. Um, we got face masks. We got use me T-shirts. Good stuff. We got wish zones on uh, Amazon. If you head on over to LinuxGamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. Go down to wish list. Jill has one. Pedro has one. I have one. Ben has one. Buy us some stuff off there. You can send us a little note that we got to read on air. Send Ben really? something. And you he want will... one of these? Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> Laptop style. <laughs> why, do, why don't you get like the one with like the uh, arm and the, see, all right, there's the battle axe. I would expect that. Oh, it's rubber? <laughs> Boo. Um... <laughs> I'm just creeping on your list. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Buy, buy me some controllers. Buy me a Ryzen motherboard or some memory or an NVMe drive. Or, yeah, or for a stream deck. A 5700 yeah. GAP. Yeah, yeah no, right. I got one of them on mine, too. <laughs> yeah. What is this? A yes for all wooden plyo box? With a different, yeah. It's a box? It's a $100 yeah. box? Yeah. Does it's it do a hundred dollar box. Then. box? Uh, I can jump on it and it won't collapse under my weight. That's the main thing. That takes all the fuck mothering fun out of it. No one. <laughs> Indeed. Nay. I will mute you if you read anything from that purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, you let us do this. And it's been a very fun, interesting ride. Even if you're not like a huge trip. One thing we've done, and it's completely by accident, is document Linux gaming take two. We've been doing this longer than Steam has been available for Linux, and uh, it's, it's been an interesting ride. Oh, I ha- I had a quip that I completely forgot. Oh, no. Uh, the only headphones we're <laughs> going to try and sell you is a 30-old pair of Sony headphones from the 80s. Yes. No, no rake on ads. Fact. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah. Uh, we dog food it, except for Pedro. Pedro's got AKGs are even older. D- yeah, the AKG yep. uh, 240, yeah, but these are the Mark IIs. These are the Samsung ones. 
apparently they're not as good. I wouldn't know. Yeah. They sound pretty good oh, to oh, me. Oh, yeah. So those, those are the only <laughs> headphones we're trying to sell you. No, no, Make no sponsorship deals. Rain. Okay. Uh, everybody's favorite GPU company, uh, much beloved, uh, run entirely by a sentient leather jacket. NVIDIA has got some yeah. open source stuff for us after they uh, remind Pedro of this awesome <laughs> groundbreaking technology called DLSS. Yes, that I uh, cannot enjoy at this moment. Yes, you I can. You can watch tenet. me enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I. Uh, you can watch Ven enjoy it uh, on Twitch as well. But yes, standing it is, outside uh, the window in the rain, just oh, like yeah. staring through Ven's window. <laughs> he's holding he's, like fucking DLS. That doesn't bother me as <laughs> much as he's got the boombox, and I'm like, wrong reference, bro. It doesn't change. Yeah. Always with yeah, the boombox. It, it, it's blasting Toto too, which is completely wrong. But <laughs> hey, it's Toto. <laughs> But yeah, the new DLSS version 2.3, it's out. Uh, and you, if you have Cyberpunk 2077, you can uh, go and have a look. Uh, the uh, I think Doom Eternal also has it as well. And it is, well, it's a thing. If you have an RTX-capable card, even if it only has the one core or two, uh, you can give DLSS a try. But if you don't have any of that, and maybe you'd like something a bit more open, something to comp- uh, compete with... Um, uh, AMD's FSR, well, NVIDIA's working on that too. They have an image scaling SDK, which is currently available. It's on GitHub, uh, version 1.0. And what it does is it upscales. It does, as they describe it, a six-tap scaling filter combined with four-directional scaling. So that's, uh, you know, the the two uh, X uh, and Y um, things and uh, then it does adaptive sharpening not entirely sure if it is contrast adaptive sharpening like fsr is but it probably is something very similar to do the image sharpening after the fact so yeah i'll give it about two weeks until glorious egg roll gets this going on Rodunji. <laughs> and i very much look forward to the uh gabe gear which uses an amd gp uh, apu and uh, have people just use uh, NVIDIA FSR on it effectively. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I, I've been having a fun time. And this, uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd be playing, like, ever take advantage of any of the hardware that was uh, used for DLSS on Linux when I got this uh, 2060, like in 2019. And here we are. We, we had 16 titles that currently support 2.3. Uh, Hellblade is laughably bad. It is, uh, even with the quality <laughs> DLSS that uh, your protagonist, she looks like she's got a vibro shield around her like, when you turn around and like that. That's not a good experience. It attracts the worms. Uh, I did try um, Cyberpunk. Thank you, Foxy, for doing that thing just runs like shit. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just Cyberpunk, <laughs> though. Yeah. That's, I, I, <laughs> that's the Cyberpunk experience. <laughs> Maybe that's that's like my one day game. One day I'll have a system power. You know that that is the uh, listen, new crisis listen, when you have to fully simulate Keanu Reeves from a DNA base. Right, it it takes a little <laughs> bit of uh, CPU horsepower to do that. Right, but hey, I, I'm sure the internet will find a new way to hate on Nvidia for making the image scaling SDK open source. Guaranteed. I can think of a good reason to hate on Nvidia for having shitty OpenGL performance now. Oh man. Come on, listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone else is working on it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this this is from uh, Mike Blumenkrantz's blog, Super Good Code. You, If you don't know who Mike uh, Blumenkrantz is, he is an individual who Valve gave a shit ton of money to and said, figure some shit out. And so um, he's been working on... Allegedly, uh, he's, he's 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 been working on Zinc, which is the um, OpenGL implementation via by way of Vulkan, similarly to uh, DXVK, D9VK, etc. Mm-hmm. And uh, the you know we we've been hearing a lot about like oh hey well you know we we've we've got triangles working, we have rendering working, we can get into games now, and we we get we get this fucking clickbait, and I love it. It's like what if Zinc was actually the fastest GL driver? <laughs> um, and numbers after, don't so, lie. Yeah, so uh, it took uh, quite a bit of work. Apparently, um, NVIDIA Vulkan is a bit of a pain in the ass to work with, but with the 495.44 beta driver, Mike has gotten Shadow of the Tomb Raider (laughs) to run better under OpenGL by Vulkan than NVIDIA's actual OpenGL driver. Don't undersell it. Okay, with the NVIDIA's GL 495.44, check this out. Minimum frames per second, 92.5. Barely even counts as playable. 
However, with the NVIDIA's Vulcan driver, a solid 93.1. See if I, I, we, we could do some, uh, Intel math and that part would be way the fuck on there. <laughs> yeah. That that is that is that is incredibly impress- impressive. And you know and you know Mike 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 is saying that this is not necessarily indicative of um Zinc's performance overall. This is one specific use case that he had been working on specifically. Oh, 100%. This is good to have in place though because yeah. OpenGL yeah. is not going to be around forever <laughs> despite what the medical industry believes. Yeah, I, I mean, like, Nv- NVIDIA has no reason to ditch it for now, but who knows? So, uh, and, and like, es- especially on newer hardware, when they're like, well, what the, f- why do we need to support OpenGL, right? Like, mm-hmm. everyone's using DirectX 12, the next generation graphics API that will power the universe. Um, but yeah, so ha- having something like this, very, very necessary, un- unless Nouveau successfully petitions Satan for any amount of OpenGL performance. This oh, might be the only way to... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to bring this up with Hellblade. Uh, it also had ray tracing because we're talking about mm. DX12, which I enabled for the DLSS. That clearly doesn't work because the game was playable with it enabled. So I think that's broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah no, so- spreading the inherent single threadedness of OpenGL does spell a very good future for those older games. And you can just zinc uh, percentage command percentage in a not too distant future on Steam. And those old games, just like those old direct x9 games uh that run so much better with d9 vk or just dx vk nowadays oh, so pump, yeah. pump the brakes on that because <laughs> uh yeah um because because of uh, mike's next blog post well you yes. know what <laughs> you know you're in for a tr- just a treat when you see something like gpu goes burr in fact, it does. <laughs> Here's your regular, normal, ordinary GL performance from a simple Portal 2 benchmark. There, there's things n- around 400 there's, FIRPs. Now, there's a number, yep. let's talk around this Gallium 9 moon technology. <laughs> 600 <laughs> frames per second. You're looking at a 50% improvement with the exact same back-end GPU driver. Isn't too bad for just a shim. And... Oh, oh, shots fired. No, this one's now we isn't this this is definitely kind of moved. This used to require a special build of Mesa and all this other stuff to play around. This is basically just a wrapper that's gonna work with any type of DXVK title. Yeah, it's a library NVIDIA. it's a library you uh, drop into LD preload and then yeah, if if it's if you're so running then, NVIDIA, uh, then you're gonna run into a problem. But yeah. out of the box drop in, especially, but we need to talk about the power consumption, Jordan. Because this is I think yes. this, this is the real like oh wait a minute. Yeah, this is the, this is the juju for sure. You want to take a shot at yeah, it? yeah, sure. So, uh, using a handy dandy power top, um, using so uh, I, I guess we got to roll this back a little bit because people might not know what Gallium Nine is. Gallium Nine was a way for Mesa to actively natively use the DirectX Nine state tracker present in a lot of uh, video cards. So theoretically, you could submit DirectX Nine commands directly to the GPU, and it would work normally as you would without any sort of translation layer. Um, this comes right off the heels after Strider removed Gallium 9 support from Lutra <laughs> saying that it's dead. It's a dead end technology. No use for it whatsoever. Um, it's but, yeah, this. but yeah. Um, so currently, currently this is uh, so just to finish up the, that um, currently this is only available for source games using DXVK because this is a DXVK override, but onto the power savings. Cause yeah, they are um they are pretty substantial. Um this graph is very hard to read. Um What are you talking it, about, peasant? It's, <laughs> it's bad. 70, yeah. 65, yeah. 60, 57, 65, yeah. Mon- 61, mon- mon- Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what Thursday, you, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> an average Windows user, you can't read that nonsense. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, effectively, the, so the, the XVK uses twice the VRAM and uh, five times more uh, power, effectively. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah. Um, you know, you know, we've we've been we've been singing a lot of the praises, deservedly so, of DXVK D9VK. But it is not the only way. Um, and Mike is showing that hey, um, lo, lo and behold, now we have two ways of actually drastically improving performance and power consumption for old DirectX nine games, and with the large number of legacy titles that the Steam Deck has to support, mm-hmm. uh, and having the fairly substantial power savings, this might be something that Valve wants to investigate. Now, uh, oh, yeah. something we do want, like in conclusion, right here at the end, and um, this is kind of important. Dude wants data, lots of data post it here email it to me carrier pigeon whatever get out there and test this and like everything else the link to this will be in the show notes because if you got some of that amd hotness or uh, 
I'm guessing this will work with Intel? Question mark? Question mark? Uh, I, I, question mark, question yeah. Mark? We, we, qu- qu- big, big, big old question mark. That's the thing. Gallium, uh, it only works with Jeez, some Intel, of the Intel, I would totally iris. be able to answer that in a marketing-free <laughs> type of way if you just send me one of those e-cards. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, currently only some of the Iris cards use the Gallium driver. Most of them use uh, Intel's 915. I9, yeah, I95, yeah. whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> okay, One of them. Uh, now, now I have questions. Um, any screen caps have said accidentally added Ah, tags? there's a Joshi mansion <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, curiosity. Peak. Well done, sir. Well done. I look forward to seeing what 2022 holds, but He's progress. Well, uh, what 2022 might not hold is a switch because those are still yeah, effectively well, unicorns. They just got bigger so screens. I mean, give us more well, money. I'm sorry. I'm not they're they're the confused. same size. They just look a bit better. Mm, I hold them they got more salmon sperm. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, no, the uh, chances are if you want to play some actual switch games, you're probably better off with Yuzu. Well, maybe not. The uh, It is still... Not early, early days, but it is still very much a work in progress, and they have a progress report for October, and this one starts off with a PSA for um, NVIDIA users. If you have one of the 490 drivers already installed, uh, caution, seriously, caveat emptor on that one, because- uh, Roll roll, roll it back to 472. Yeah, the 470 drivers are kind of where you want to be, because with the 490s, they dropped Kepler. As we uh, discovered on uh, Wednesday, uh, and the um, uh, the some of the old GLSL extensions, which are were very much in use uh, for um, Yuzu, are no longer supported. So until Nvidia actually goes back and adds those uh, GLSL extensions, because hey, the new cards probably can still use them. Just saying. I don't see the problem uh, here. I can just go buy a ten gig GPU. <laughs> it's pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. I, I, so, I mean, so the, in the, my defense, the, if I'm prepared to light money on fire, I can. Right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you're, that comes from the second the bit for Project life. Art, which is the new rescaling technology, uh, which is uh, it. It makes games look better. As emulators are off to do. <laughs> yeah. Um. They they have so, they have some recommendations. They have uh, support for downscaling and upscaling. Because, um, you, you know, people don't necessarily have the best computers, then they want to run games. Um, so with uh, with this new ART uh, scaling system, there's come some uh, hardware requirements um, like uh, like uh, Ven was alluding to. Um, if you're if you want to, if you want to have the full uh, four times resolution scaling, you're going to need you're going to need a 1080 Ti or better because you're going to need some mm-hmm. uh, 10 gigs of VRAM to get that working. Um, they have other, they have their, have other sharpening methods as well. Um, they've implemented FSR. They do recommend I mean, that, that if that's you're sharp, but it also looks bad. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> it is a low resolution game to be. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, they're, 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 they're saying like, yeah, we're, 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 well, well I mean, this it's showing is, off uh, bilinear versus, versus Gaussian. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, this, you can't the, even, this is yeah. Salesforce or scale force. Yeah. For uh, for SFR or FSR, they recommend uh, if you're using a lower resolution and want to upscale it, uh, that helps for clearing up the fuzzies. Does not really help if you're uh, rendering at a higher resolution downscaling. Um, so yeah, I mean, one X target- linear looks better than the uh, not point seven five mm-hmm. FSR on this subjective. I'm sure somebody's like, no, I like the jaggy things. <laughs> I, I yeah I I, I I I don't know what the hardware a hardware b thing is so yeah like i'm just moving shit left and right and i don't know what yeah. i'm doing <laughs> sliders man we implement that technology on mixed gift cast fuck yeah we do you can't get enough of people love look at me i'm just here like like yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah, no no amount that, of fsr uh, is gonna make filtering, filtering. <laughs> yeah you can see yeah, that, that, that one that, that one is painfully obvious well, I, so it it doesn't also help that Pokemon Sword has really really bad graphics. All the background assets are like PS one quality. So, <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't know. I mean, theft. I I know it is definitely a shame that the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch upgrade, the update, the new Nintendo Switch has been delayed by two months. But uh, mm-hmm. do do you honestly <laughs> think that? If the Gabe Gear runs well enough, 
and it's everything that's been promised. And Yuzu runs like a dream on it, which you know that's going to be a target platform. Mm. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be getting into Linux gaming because that's where they want to play their Switch games now. Because uh, you you, you, can, you can actually play them on good hardware this time around. Play Switch games at 60 FPS on your Game Gear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At, at yeah, non seven twenty p resolutions, mm-hmm. or or oh he- heaven forbid over ten eighty p thirty possibly mm-hmm. mm. cinematic. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about theft. Oh man, uh, everyone's favorite topic is yeah, Rockstar this week. Rockstar didn't have a good week. Mm-hmm. Not at all. No. Not, e- not even a little bit. Did you did did we all read the uh, sorry not sorry that they dropped? Yeah, we are sorry dot jpeg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. White text on a black background. Oh man, they're like, hey, please, please yeah, understand. you know that dog shit. You know, after we pulled GTA, GTA three, and all that off the market and replaced them with this whatever these the things inferior are version, play. yeah, broken versions. Yeah, <laughs> well, you, you people were upset with us, and we're, we're sorry. Also, they even drug out the uh, uh, our development team has experienced harassment online. Please don't. It's like, well, you're being mean to us it, 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 oh man probably may, hits may, may, less hard than them having to deal with the harassment they have fucking work may, right? may, may, maybe mm-hmm. if maybe if they diverted some of the funding from their legal team to their software developers they mm-hmm. could have actually yep. re- produced a functional uh, game i told you i told you legal was justifying their expense and this is how they've been doing it they've been siphoning off all the funds so they can go after the real pirates the modders for gta Sorry, this, three. This, this is not <laughs> this is not a repeat but it's back uh gta modders to court our game fixes and enhancements are fair use, not piracy. And uh, this is over at torrentfreak.com. Now, so this, this is the uh, this is a slapback from uh, RE. Uh, not the first uh, time, RE, RE3. But the second time that they yep. were issued yep. a takedown request in GitHub, you know, following along, they're going to do this thing. So, GTA 3 Vice City projects, uh, they were protected, hopefully, under the Fair Use Copyright Act. Uh, they kind of disagree, but they even point out in the suit because they're going to take this shit to court, which is kind of what we wanted to see. They said, hey, man, you still got to buy the damn game in order in order to use this. Like in any of the reverse engineering we did it was to enhance that part of the game to fix some things, make it a little bit better. And they get a really good point. Like, uh, again, why, why are you trying to implement the, well, apply the United States Copyright Act outside of the United States? How the fuck is that supposed to work? Again, question mark. Uh, this, this is going to be kind of interesting. There's a full PDF and all the fun stuff to go through it. This needs to be brought to court. I'm glad that I hope the EFF or somebody helps finance this and keeps Seriously. it in court and gets this uh, just completely fucking dismissed with prejudice because this is bullshit. This is bullshit yeah, by takes, the same company that needs brought to be you <laughs> the remakes of GTA and everything else. And they're backtracking. Yeah. These are some arrogant motherfuckers, man. And the, the the article brings up that this is highly hypocritical of uh, Take Two and Rockstar as well, because they have previously uh, featured a lot of third party modifications to Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. uh, even using it in internal presentations. Um, yeah, you, you just got to fucking litigate instead of innovate, man. Uh, how, how else are we going to get people to buy you know our broken ass game? Like I would even roll back and be like, they were aware how dog shit the remake was because they were made it a point to take down the superior product. Yeah. yeah. The, well, they I, took it, out the old versions that actually worked. They took out the superior product that the community had done with none of their code, none of their anything. It's all reverse engineered and meant to improve on their product. Dicks. Ginormous fucking dicks. <laughs> and the, 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 the article go, also goes on to say like, Rockstar was aware of REVC and RE3 before they started working on the remakes. These were things that were existing and servicing the community before they decided to create a competing product. So again, giving more fuel to the, we're not creating a replacement for your thing. We are right. creating an enhancement for your existing broken thing. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, I just want fix. this to come back and get a judgment of this. I want a very good chilling effect for the next legal team looking for something to do. It goes, oh, some, right. Some, we can't do that. That one's been some nice strong precedent. Yeah, just because right. Sony, yeah, Sony learned that the hard way a few years back, and now Take Two seems to have forgotten about it. So I want the yeah well, well, EFF or well, any ad- of those ad- ad- advocacy groups. Just advocacy groups. Reminded. Ad- <laughs> advocacy. <Varufakis. laughs> 
So uh, just remind take two. <laughs> speaking speaking of thieving. <laughs> yeah. So uh Streamlabs, you may have heard of them. They uh yeah, they're it, a service it, that it, we, we we use them. It, it's the OBS, moment. right? Yeah, totally. It's <laughs> yeah. so the, okay. So tw- Twitter has definitely picked up on this. Uh, the lo- long story short, um, Streamlabs has a desktop version. Uh, stream- well, hey, Streamlabs is a service that enhances live streams and that creates like uh, overlays and alerts and stuff like that. Uh, manages donations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you can integrate it into your Twitch stream, hooks into your Twitch account. Um, and Streamla- stream so Streamlabs um, had their product that. Uh, sat on top of OBS um, mm-hmm. to integrate with a bunch of their features. Um, and they were calling it Streamlabs OBS because, you know, that makes sense, right? We're the Streamlabs OBS. The problem was there was a bit of a conflation because people thought, oh, this must be the actual version of OBS, which well, that, is not the case. That, you would have to demonstrate behavior or they would just kind of try to confuse people. But, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, stream. oh, oh. Oh yeah, Lightstream. They uh they uh copy pasted all of the advertising copy from one of their uh, console streaming overlay services. Uh said, "Oops, that was a mistake. We didn't mean to push that actually live, mm-hmm. although we just changed the names of the reviewers." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so lo- lo- lots of drama sur- surrounding uh Streamlabs. Uh they're not in violation of the OGL. They did file for trademark. Uh there's some no-no happening, but the community backlash was pretty substantial. You got big streamers like Pokimane coming out and saying like, yo, you got to quit this shit or I'm going to go take my money elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, faced with, the, faced with that backlash, they have taken the bold, brave step of renaming Slobs to Streamlabs Desktop. Ah, oh, so brave. So, so brave. brave. Oh, it's the Facebook approach. Yeah, the Facebook name, it's uh, tied to a lot of shit recently. So we're just going to call ourselves something else now. You Good know what? Job. Change it to Streambook. <laughs> change, 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 change it to, to Facebook. S- Apparently, no, that's no, no, open. No, no, no. Face stream. Change, change, change it to Smeta. Smeta. They're just being. A, <laughs> I mean, this. I didn't know like to what extent they were a bunch of slobs, but this has just been like how business has been conducted with the company. This was just once it blew up. But even got the OBS team to come back and be going. Yeah, we try not to do the internet drama thing, but yeah, these. Ass banjos have been paying, like trying to trademark OBS. Like, really? Like, but yeah. come on, guys. Because, you know, it's we, open source. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we put a body kit on top of your work and kind of made it questionably <laughs> less functional. Uh, oh. <laughs> and then we stole someone else's software and made it ours. Yeah. yeah well, no, who, they, who they didn't even steal on? the software. They just stole their website. Elgot, Elgato <laughs> came in because. They were like, oh, you too? Uh, or like, you know, it was like, oh, it just happened eventually because apparently they had a, they did some streaming software for mobile and the slobs people called it Stream Deck. Mm. Really? <laughs> so this oh, is going to be fun to watch this rollback because this is just how they've done business. This is the first time that the light has uh, been dinosaur on turned over to the fucking roach and like, <gasps> because this usually never ends well, because eventually, you know, I'm sure the next response will be like, we're being victimized or some shit like that. Oh yeah. Well, and, and you, and you know, of course, like if they're doing this kind of shady shit, the entire company is built on this precarious house. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I, this, this was just like one of those weird things I didn't expect to, but moral of the story. I mean, this is not something we have to worry about on, Linux, because slobs is not a thing. However, the only if, thing you could use was the overlays yeah. on the website. No, yeah. or, or you you could use Suze Linux OBS slobs part two. Oh, hmm. oh yeah, the open build studio. Yeah, <laughs> the um, okay, check this out. Now I, I'm glad this came to light, and I'm glad something's being done about it because I was shocked reading through you know on the Twitter threads and all the other places and all the Reddits. How many people legitimately confused OBS with uh, Streamlabs OBS? I, I mean, like if you're if you're a layperson, absolutely, you're yeah. like Streamlabs like, I, OBS. I never it's think OBS. about that. I'm too deep in the fucking OBS sphere to it would never cross. But it, yeah, I see it now that you know, step back with it. That causes genuine confusion, hmm. and if they're applying for a trademark, why hasn't it been automatically denied? So <laughs> that, that, now, now OBS team. 
you better secure your fucking trademarks, man. If you are vulnerable to this stuff, perhaps you should start seeking funding to make it so that you are not vulnerable to this sort of shenaniganery. I would have it done. You got to think there's some poor bastard at Logitech that got an email at three o'clock in the morning going, who the fuck knew about this? Yeah. What what did you do, Jim? (laughs) Why didn't you tell me? (laughs) Because if you don't know, last year Logitech bought Streamlabs OBS. Mm, he's like fuck <laughs> that had to go down so I, I i don't know man just whatever just if they disappear the world might be a better place allegedly ha. yeah all right <laughs> we're, 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 we're gonna create our own fort called lobs linux obs coming up next we ever tried so hard got so far and in the end it didn't even matter share acquisition time You know what, Steam? Fuck this banner, by the way. (laughs) No, you need to know that there's a sale on, damn it. Give us more money. There you go. That thing's been bugging me all week. I'm like, why is shit moving on the goddamn Steam store? (laughs) And it's not a developer stream. Mm -mm. You can cut that shit off. Like, I'm already in your store, bro. You don't have to give me ads. I mean, that's the only place that's But the developers so. want ads. That's the thing. The game developers want the ads. They want to be featured. But then they need to bitch harder about where the 30% goes. <laughs> there, 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 there's a disconnect between the game developers and what they want and what players and what they want, which is what Epic doesn't seem to get. Shopping carts? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a that lot of things <laughs> Epic doesn't seem to get. Um, favorable verdicts in court cases. That's something they don't get. Yeah. Oh, did nope. you see? Uh, then again, what? neither did Apple on that one. How about Wolf? That was like the perfect ruling. How about Wolfire? They uh, dismissed that case today. Oh, the, the antitrust one? Yeah. The, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. the ones that the uh, Pippita Hoppitus developers, uh, developer, mm-hmm. the humble guy who's no longer, you know, I tried to make that like yes. big, super <laughs> crazy point. Let me go to my profile. Everyone, we will go to my Twitter profile while I scroll down. There it is. So I do, can go do to the check link. in Twitter. On Judge Steam. dismisses antitrust lawsuit filed against Valve. Wolfire Games filed a lawsuit claiming that Steam suppresses competition and charges excessive fees. And I, <laughs> I did like the judge's reply. It's like, uh, yeah, all the other stores that don't have that kind of fee mm-hmm. have failed. <laughs> because uh, Steam is still the biggest one and everyone else that has come out at this point has not been able to reach that kind of thing. So clearly that fee seems to be helping provide a better service and service that people want to use. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> nailed it. Here, here, here's the thing though. I, I can, I can see the anti-competitive stuff. If, Valve's like integration tools did not tie you if they actually tie you to Steam, which they don't. Steam Stockets, they Steam don't. VR, Steam and they open input. source, and you quite can fucking yeah, use the services too. Like, yeah, yeah. I see, like. I mean, the entire argument falls apart. I mean, it's very smart in Valve's defense of like, no, this shit's open, son. Like, yeah, we 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 want people to use it because then it makes the games better, and we have more shit to sell you. Mm-hmm. And you know. <laughs> There is no smart part, small part of me on Valve's side. I'm thinking like, we created this fucking category, bitches. Mm-hmm. Like and we the, had to go through like the first excessive. seven years of people saying, "This is dumb. This is stupid. You're gonna go bankrupt. Who the fuck's gonna download their video games? You go to the store and you get the DVD, so you have it. And these people still exist. Fortunately, they're dying out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, digital distribution. How did they become first? They were first to do it, not first to do it. But you know what I'm saying? Save me the um. Well, actually, so. well, well, oh, man, I, I remember the first digital download game I actually bought was a copy of Serious Sam because I lost my disc. Um, and it was on shit. Do I do I even still have the email? What are you doing? It, uh, I, like, it, it was one of those really old, old stores that I'm not even sure exists anymore. I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to remember what the fucking name was. EB Toys. Um, 
That's no, that, you you can fucking buy shit online with it. Um, Canadian Tire. <laughs> I wish. Right. Man, I when I was a kid, I wish that Canadian Tire had video games because then I'd have something to look at while my parents were at Canadian Tire. They have Tire. to have video games now, right? The, they, they have like the fucking arcade plug and play things. Direct to Drive. That's what it fucking was. Direct to Drive was the uh, the game service I made my first online game purchase to. Now it's IGN, apparently. Okay, here's some weirdness. You're of the age where this would be relevant to you. G4 is back. See, I didn't have I didn't have cable back in the heyday at G4, so I I, had, I, I I caught bits and bobs of it on like other people's TV. I, I knew it was a thing, okay? That was the extent of, like, G4. I mean, I knew it existed, and I didn't watch it, because I was kind of aged out of that at the time. Mm. Um, but they're back with the fucking Twitch thing, and I noticed this because I'm scrolling through, and it, lo and behold, you know, Linux Gamecast was recommended a gaming channel, and I saw fucking Adam Savage, like, sitting down. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What's it? Oh, they are back. Huh. Yeah. What? You thought it was like some weird rerun? I didn't like, know. What what was, this, this doesn't make any sense. I guess it makes perfect sense. So now that now uh, after everyone else has done it, it's time for what was corporate media at the time. Like, we can do that too, you guys. We'll be dead last in this. They're, 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 de they're definitely banking on the nostalgia, right? Like, and it's still, it's still mostly the same team. So I don't know. If, if if they if they can revive the brand and like, I mean, hell, if if anyone has disposable income these days, it's elder millennials, which is what their fucking key demo is. So shit, that could work. Elder millennials. Elder millennials from Any the before times of 1984. Anyone over the age of 20. Yeah, dude, the average millennial is like fucking 30 something now. Oh yeah, like I. According to Wikipedia, I follow in to by one year as a millennial. And here, 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 here's the thing: it's all completely bullshit because it's just marketing, anyways. Shut up, Zoomer. People. I still remember when millennials were people who were born in like 2001. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, the, the people the, born in the new millennium. Well, millennials, millennials. Well, millennials will always be that age group right behind you, no matter what generation yeah. you're at from now on. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The damn kids. The damn kids. Like what? The the millennial cutoff is what? 95? 98? I don't isn't it 1983 or 1982? Or uh, like that? Ni 80, 80, 81 to 96. That's the range. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just. It's, 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 it's a way for people to create another arbitrary divide between people to distract from actual problems. Mm -hmm. Like audio not running under Linux. Well, I have you know the average user um, would never something <laughs> screech 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 uh the, the, the average user, gamers would never use the command line the nope. average user when presented with a message that says do this and it will break your system repeat do as i say will probably go huh i wonder if i actually mm -hmm. read and understand this text Ew. i might i might close the terminal and <clears throat> run away screaming like a regular person only do this if you know what you're doing well i have no idea what i'm doing i'm going to do that here's where i'm at i, I this is completely the entire lightest tech tip things well bitch i read steam forms i see motherfuckers doing registry hacks and all this other stuff to try to get something up and running like these are not oh, yeah. dumb people <laughs> And setting core affinity and actually launching the game via the command line to check the core affinity yeah <laughs> i mean there is definitely good that uh, linus has done creating jobs and like there's a point to it, but you know, I don't want to say stay in your lane, but god damn. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a like quit it, cutting into other people's lanes. It, it, well, it, the entire channel is a glorified <laughs> unboxing channel. 
So, like, you know. Yeah, when, when, I mean, what, when they test games on shit, what do they test? Like, Counter-Strike Go, they run some benchmarks, like, you can, you can get that shit from Pharonix, man. Like, well, they do, the whole point is, they do mass marketing fun videos, apparently. And, mm. like, they do that well. It's the pre- presentation of, like, tech entertainment. This is not where I go for, like, hard-hitting facts. <laughs> you know, I mean, but then again, you're talking to, like, oh, level one text? Yeah, that, that's a little <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> that's getting a little harder. You know, because you will see that comparison. They're like, oh, no, the deep technical stuff, that level one text. I'm like, mm, I mean, maybe to some. But then again, For you more say of the that. enterprise stuff because yeah. yes, Wendell is very much tied to the enterprise side of things, and he apparently does very good job all over on that side. But whenever he starts talking about the gaming stuff, it's like, nope, that that's not it. That that that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> what do we think about that? How many times have you been listening to someone for a while, watching him, whatever? And you're like, all right, all right, you, you got things going on. You know what you're doing. Then they stumble across a topic that you go deep in, and they just fuck it all up. And, like, they belong on confidently incorrect. And we're not talking like somebody's wrong on the internet. I'm like, no, I can disprove what you just said using maths. <laughs> you're like, you know like, what? I can give you links to the actual facts. I can give you a timeline if you want. Just, no. <laughs> that, that, that upsets me. Not, like, rawr, I make I'm like, oh, man, now i got to put everything you said in the fucking question. <laughs> It's specialization, man. People people become very, very adept at a specific narrow field of things, and, and they good, think that carries forward be, for everything else. Going to be presenting something online in any way, shape, form, or fashion, you need to have that attitude. Of like, hey, man, I'm not an expert in this, but <laughs> well, yeah, the, the admit it. People are afraid to admit ignorance, and I think that's like a problem. You should. It's okay to say I don't know. I don't yeah, know this thing because there's I a lot I, of shit you don't know. It's okay. I don't. I don't. It's I don't have enough everyone. information. <laughs> I, I I have some feelings about it, but I don't have any data to back it up, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Like crazy. Oh, thought. I just realized. Apparently, my beer is protected by easy anti cheat. <laughs> Hobo. Easy. <All> right. <laughs> it's easy. Easy. So wait, so wait, unless yeah. they flip the switch, are you not going to get drunk because you run Linux? Apparently. Well, that would certainly oh. explain why I'm still not drunk. Three beers in. Okay, cool. Um, how fast do you think you could drive your car? In a straight line? I don't have a car. He was so rough by the time he got back to Portugal. <laughs> I mean, <they're... laughs> Yes, right. Like, the... Yes, I technically have a car in Portugal, uh, but not here. So here, here's the wonderful <laughs> wild world, uh, wacky wild world of uh, Britannia right now. It is cheaper to fly across country than it is to... Ride a train. Hmm? That's, uh, that's the same in Canada. Right there. <laughs> right there, baby. <laughs> you could can, get... Can, yeah, you could get a flight from uh, London to Scotland for a tenner, and uh, it will cost you a heck of a lot more by train. We don't have any, like, truly discount air travel in North America. It's too big. That's why. Too, too too much space to cover. Round one. Fight. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, that's Ra- loaded. Well, no, it's round one. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll Super just run riddle. straight down. Since Might as well. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll be nice and linear this evening, kids. Yes. It's not going to take that long. I don't think no, there's not, no, no, no. There's not that much to actually talk about. All right. It is going to be a list of things that don't work. <laughs> this is going to be our new service. We're, we're going to do... Um, it's yeah, the, we'll, listen, it's the, it's the entitlement desktop environment. It right. is. <laughs> I'd, I'd use it. I'd totally use it. All right, everyone. Uh, chair acquisition coming to you. And as soon as I hit that button, put it back there in three, two. Welcome back 
2, the chairquisition, where we take a video game, run it on a bunch of different Linuxes with some varying hardware, and tell you what we think of it. Rated on a scale from one to four lawn chairs. This week, we're taking a look at Ever Tried by Lunic Games, a.k.a. Danilo Dominguez. Uh, done on the Unity engine, you can pick it up for about 20 bucks US. What is it? Ever Tried is an isometric tactical roguelike where the player ascends a mysterious tower in the afterlife. Using their wits, strategy, and positioning in turn-based combat, make clever use of attacks, movement, skills, and hazards to clear floors of enemies and advance higher towards your destiny. So we're going to thank uh, Danilo for sending us some keys via Curator Connect. Uh, so I guess let's get into it. How's it run on Debian, Ven? All right. We got to do this in three minutes or less to wrap up and prepare. Uh, how does it run on Debian 11? Out of the box, no problems. Over here with the 2060 with those evil, nasty, proprietary drivers. But it gets the job done. 1920X thread booping. About that full screen, though. This is really the first experience you have with the game because it just kind of disappears and goes blank. Like, huh. All right. Put it back in window. Hey, I'm back. Oh, okay. That was a glitch. Let's go back to full. And we're back to nothing. Hmm. Okay. And also there's some type of video that plays like right at the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to play because it doesn't. And uh, there's some noise. Now you're clearly dealing with something that hasn't been tested. And I say this because um, we got three it systems hasn't here. Been tested. Hasn't been tested. <laughs> We're doing the testing on it on three different Linux distributions, and uh, it does the same thing. It does the same thing. You're going to have to play this in Proton if you want to play it in full screen. Now, if you're not going to bother doing that, you might at least do us a favor. Give us a reach around and make the game saves cross-platform, because they're not. I had to start right back at the beginning and go through the tutorial a second time. Performance-wise, though, even running it with Proton for myself, because I wanted to play it in full screen. It's going about 800 plus at 1080p. No coil wide. Good about that. Now, fun, fun wise, you boop around, you slice up enemies. That's about it. You know, unless there's like a cannon on the map, then you just juggle around and wait to them to kill themselves. Kind of not kidding. And that's really it. Now, after a few levels, you will encounter a store where you always only buy health or you'll get killed to death. At least me, because I suck at these games. Uh, that was my strat since uh, Hollow Moth. You can take, like, what, three hits? Is that it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. More, more or less. Then, then you're just nice and dead. Um, at the end of the day, basically, you, I mean, this is a nice, simple puzzle game. Uh, I really like the art. The art's very well done. Uh, no complaints there. I say, like, okay, this is pretty good looking. But uh, the soundtrack, it's serviceable. It's a thing. It's there. And uh, the problem is, the problem is, there's some bugs in the game. I went through the forums reading, and yeah, some other people have run into issues with the game as well, even on Windows. But I think the biggest bug is this is priced $5 higher than Into the Breach. So that's something you might want to think about, like pricing something accordingly. I mean, it's beautiful. Looks nice. The game, like the whole mechanic of it, like it's been done before. It'll be done again. But yeah, I'm just going to say not working full screen on three systems is a no-go in the Steam After Deck era. No, going to have to avoid this one until that nonsense gets sorted out on fedora 35 64 bit with the r9 3900x and the gtx 1080 ti yeah that uh, that full screen in game is borked uh the menus are fine but the uh the full screen is borked also what the actual fuck is going on with the control settings the ps4 <laughs> settings jack up all the prompts pedro will go into that in depth but it is uh it is a little screwy. I ended up just playing with the keyboard arrow keys. And you know what? Keyboard-based isometric grid music is... Bleh. It's going for the Hollow Knight-esque cutesy aesthetic, even down to the masks. It's still less plagiarizing than slobs. I do like the the sort of Game Boy Advance style uh, graphics. It reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, a game that is near and dear to my heart. So it gets some points for that. Um, but yeah, given, given the control issues and the, the graphical stuff, this is why you don't just click export. So, uh, fun wise, the time tested combat system of jam your ass into your enemy until they run out of HP. Those were the days when you were playing games on a terminal and didn't have GUIs. Um, this reminds me a lot more of Warlock of Firetop Mountain than Into the Breach, mainly because like. You have uh, you have predictive perfect information on the hazards, but not on the enemies. So um, there's a there's a lot of like having to debate them to get into them into the right position, or like Ven said, you flail around in a corner until the trap actually kills the rest of the enemies. Um, yeah, you end up spinning your wheels quite a bit with that 
so that you do. And there, there, there's the, um, the game wants you to build up combo. There's a combo meter where you will do more damage and get more experience as you do more stuff faster, but that's the fastest way to get yourself killed to death. So the game is a little disjointed. It's a bit inconsistent. Uh, there are some upgrades you can get. You can make uh, them stronger in between runs by using them more. That's okay. I got vast. The, the only worth roll one I found was lifestyle steal because there is no health. You get like the one fucking store. And then after the boss, you're like, well, whatever health left you had. Enjoy it, fuckos. Speaking of which, I got past the first boss. Little bit of a neat puzzle. It was neat, but... Uh, at that point, the game didn't really grab me. And with the technical issues and the odd controls, I can't really recommend this game. I'm going to give it one share. Speaking of the first boss, there it is. If you're watching the video version, that is. But over Smack here the on the, on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080 on KD Neon, it launched out of the box, but like Van and Jordan already mentioned, starting the game proper gave me a black screen. Changing from full screen to window, worked around that. Then the FURPS, well, you could look at the video version as well. It's, um, they're uncapped. They're completely uncapped. You're looking at about 900-ish FURPS in-game proper, unless you use Lip Strangle to keep those down at whatever you want. Uh, it's Coil Wine City if you're running with the, um... Frames uncapped over here with the that GTX 1080. It's Coil Wine City all over the place. The controller Man, mappings are f- <laughs> the controller mappings are completely fucked though. Uh, by default, uh, in the PC slash Xbox mode, left and right on the D-pad are up and down. I'm not joking. Up and down don't actually work. If you change it to PS4 mode, circle becomes accept and square becomes go back. So it's like the cross becomes circle and the circle becomes square. What? (laughs) Uh, But at least at that point, all four directions on the D-pad work, uh, except that up and down are reversed. Left and right are okay. Those actually work as intended, but up and down, uh, up is down and down is up. It also completely ignores Steam input on both the beta and non-beta Steam clients because at this point I didn't actually trust Steam that that was working properly, so I had to go back and forth between the two to make sure. So that's impressive, game. That That's really impressive. It's like everywhere you look, something is busted. As for the fun, well, yes, the comparison with Into the Breach was fairly inevitable, but... This is even more simplified than Into the Breach, uh, and as much as I praise simplifying mechanics and disabling them, uh, or, you know, distilling uh, them down to what makes them interesting, I do think you can go too far, and I think Ever Tried might have gone a little bit too far in that direction. There's uh, also the fact that this is a turn-based roguelike with a real-time uh, nanny bar which deals you damage if you let it run all the way down. Uh, and you exhaust all of your bars, so that's bad. Um, So even in its simplicity, it seems rather schizophrenic with its own mechanics outright fighting each other. It looks good, the mechanics are simple, and it's very easy to understand what's going on. But when taken as a whole, it doesn't work as well as it should, which may also be related to the technical shit show I mentioned earlier. So uh, I kind of have to go with the flow on this one and say, no, one chair. (laughs) All right, now, well, that wraps it up. Do you think um, it's fair? Here, here's the pro tip. Now, you'll notice that the there's a demo, so go try it for yourself. But there's not a Linux version of the demo, which is probably for the best, because you're not going to really be able to play it with Linux. You're going to be using Proton anyway, which is, uh, yeah, test, test your That's, shit, kids. To be fair, the video, the, if you're looking at the video version, that video was recorded with the native Linux version, in a 1080p window, window because that's the only yeah. way you can see the game. You know what? <laughs> Ironically, very streamer friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, I, I didn't have a problem with that. I'm used to just like staring at the top left hand corner of my monitor and only that because that's what I stream from. Um, you yeah, know, for I, me, I mean, I, when I'm streaming, when I'm just in here playing a game on the rare occasion, which is usually the game where I want that shit full screen. Okay. I got 43 inches. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like, for, for for me, I think the game just falls apart mechanistically. There's some cool ideas here, but I think it really just needs more refining. Yeah, see, I can't um, really comment on that so much because these types of games, uh, that is you two definitely know more. But I get a participation draw. I show up at like uh, hour yeah, ten. It, I'm it, like, I tried, you guys. Look, I. Did. That, I mean, that's that's me in racing games, right? I get yeah. it. It's yeah. I, I went through the motions. I didn't like rage quit or anything. I'm like, oh well. I mean, 
Mm. I, 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 I raged quit because the controls were so bad. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it, I, I it's, the controls are freaking weird, man. <laughs> what did you, you do? No, it, what did you do? <laughs> It, it's 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 isometric grid controls, right? Like I, I don't I don't know they the way they have. If you could click on it, I feel it would be better. If it was like a point and click, how about I feel maybe. What if you could, could rotate the playing field a couple of degrees to line it up? Yeah, it's like, uh, instead of being like about, a, at a forty five degree angle, make it like sixty, so it was clearer which way is at up. No, <laughs> I have an aesthetic that I'm going for, and I like isometric <laughs> stuff. Uh, <laughs> All right, by the help. All right, all right. Coming up next, it's time to downvote us. Go to reddit.com slash Linux underscore gaming and downvote anything that says Linux Gamecast in it. Well, that was about YouTube. Uh, no, uh, what was it? Uh, somebody posted the... Uh DLSS thing on the uh, Linux and Okay. Thing. Yeah, it did good. There was like one thread about somebody bitching about I think the Threadripper as the CPU or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole point of DLSS is to like show a performance bump and the whole point of the video is to show people how to enable it. But the uh, top rated comment was um Here's a simple, easy to use guide, and you motherfuckers are arguing about CPUs and shit. Stay classy. This is. Stay classy. Can't wait for you guys to get DLSS. Nah, man, it's not supported on Intel GPUs. <laughs> <It's not> right. <laughs> oh man. You know what? I'm I'm willing to listen, I have no fucking corporate loyalty, right? <laughs> I, I, I will, <laughs> like, I, I will stick with NVIDIA the same way I will stick with Charter Communications business. <laughs> like second option B shows up that's remotely fucking viable, done. Bye. Plus, I can sell the uh, 2060 for like $5,000, too. Yeah, to some enterprising Bitcoin miner. Absolutely. Working in them Bitcoin mines, getting the black lung. Not doing Bitcoin. With a uh, Bitcoin isn't GPU. These days, it's ASIC. These yeah, that's uh, all. It's all on FPGA. Got they me. got like, yeah. So it's like Ethereum and everything else. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't do it. It's just not profitable. I, l l l listen, I'm I'm purposefully ignorant of this. I don't. I I, I want to spend my brain cycles on other stuff. <laughs> listen, man, I gotta make my <laughs> NFTs or however that works. I don't. I gotta right click and save shit, man. <laughs> So someone wrote a bot to do that. They gathered like all the NFT art on on the Ethereum network. Put it up on uh, on Pirate Bay. Uh, why would you go to Pirate Bay? Oh, you can just take a screenshot. No, I can just go to the, <laughs> NFT, the NFT. Oh well, then there you go. <laughs> I got my pirate I, NFT I, I, search, and I'm feeling again. Good. I'm I I am intentionally behind on the news. So here's all of our Linux NFTs. <laughs> Lucky binary number. The, the, all right, hang on. That might be a little dangerous. Let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there, there, oh, there yeah. are a lot of like very poorly drawn porno NFTs. That is, that uh, is true. You know what? <laughs> I we, we were uh, uh yeah number one seventy one crypto dick. We were one scroll away from that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna start calling people that man. That's a good insult. Yo, crypto dick. Yep. I love this Razer 911. Awesome. Well played. F fucking, fucking crack screens or whatever. Yes. <laughs> oh man, you remember the fucking Razer 911 music that the fucking key gen would play? You know what? No. Uh, Ahoy did video about that. <laughs> did he? Yeah. L literally the last one came out yesterday or the day before. Uh. It's the about 16-bit trackers. Yeah. 
I do miss shit because I only hit up like the YouTube, like something when I'm like, I need something to do. And what is it? Oh. Trackers, sound of 16 bit. It actually goes yep. through the list of all the ones that were available and how they tied it to the key gen um, music. <laughs> okay, that's that's. I, I, I was aware he's doing stuff on 16 bit music. I wasn't aware that that had like a tie. To like, why, why are you doing a thing on 16 bit music though? I mean, you get 16 bits of dynamic range. You're good. Like, that's not retro. That's fucking CDs today. What's the CD? <laughs> you mean coasters? <laughs> ah, there we go. The, <laughs> the NFT dicks. <laughs> that looks like itch. <laughs> yeah, it does look like just any video game. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the technology behind it, I understand. Like, see, it's being used wrong. Like, the... Authenticity of you know, like saying, hey, this is the original, I get, but like fucking selling it. Well, the 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 the, the problem also becomes that like uh anyone can claim their shit as the original, right? Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be the maker. And that's where the problem comes in where a bunch of artists were getting like their shit literally stolen and sold as NFTs. Okay, you see, Alan, that makes way more sense. All right, 16-bit computers. I was thinking about 16-bit resolution. Yeah, 8-bit. Eight 8-bit's eight kind of tight. Oh, man. So I started bench pressing again, and my elbow was like, what the fuck is a bench press? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Why do I have more weight on the left side? <laughs> Oh man, I, I, man, I did that two weeks ago with my deadlift. I'm like, oops. Well, uh, I mean, that, 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 that was a heavy one too. That was like 480 pounds. That, that's well, either like, was, all right, I'm glad, or like, all right, time to start using the clamps all the time now. When that weight goes, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm. So I. Very, very early on, I had like an imbalance in my back. And so when I was going for a 300 pound squat one time, half the weight just slid off the bar and then the other half went. Vroom. I'm like, OK, yeah, we're using the clips from now on. I, I, had, I had that very formative experience and very clips. early on in my emphasis emphasis all over the clips, not the little bolt motherfuckers that you never tighten. <laughs> Oh, the 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 the, the, the Olympic collars, yeah. Like fuck that noise. Uh, uh give me the handy squeezy things that clunk. There's no way to not have them on properly. Uh, these are where where the um, um All right, taking the fedora plunge, so like you're gonna get the trench coat and like, grow the beard. The lady. Yeah. <laughs> we can't just break out the fedora by itself. That's not the fedora life. Yeah, these are these are, these are the guys I use. Someone, someone actually from Linux Gamecast bought them from me. Someone in the audience. Okay. I th I think it might have been Kai. I don't remember. Uh, big, big thank you to Mike G for the, uh... I, I know this is not going to be weight-related. Little uh, key bit. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, Re relevant. Misusing it. These are very, very nice. Uh, it, uh, going shopping and, uh... Yeah, I don't have to get my right hand into a yeah, weird position. I can just hang the bag here and away we go. <laughs> Nori doesn't have to attach that cart to you anymore. It was ridiculous. I, you know, I, I, I missed the bit in bridle and the wagon you had to pull <laughs> along with your teeth. <laughs> Pedro the mule. 
Yeah, no, it saves me from having to carry the wagon so I can just use a bag like normal people. <laughs> I'd still take a fucking wagon, man. Give me some wheels. I'm down. Honestly, transitioning from Fedora to Debian isn't too bad. Oh no. Or Debian to Fedora? No, it's No. So like the 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 main problem you're going to run into is the app to DNF for yum translation and all the configuration files are in the wrong fucking directory. I mean, app to the DNF libs are called differently. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, growing up with Red Hat, then Fedora, then moving on to Debian, no, there's no like transition issues there. Yeah. Like n- no- nothing major, you'll figure it out. No, apparently going to the other way around. Because I did it just to see if, if the internet had lost its damn mind. It's like, oh, you damn millennials. Uh, like, what a nightmare it was <laughs> to get CentOS set up and running. Fucking afternoon. It was painless. I mean, outside of getting the graphics, NVIDIA graphics I, stuff, I, I, I'm running because there I, was a I, very I think... particular way it had to be done for DaVinci Resolve. But outside of that, mm. everything else was smooth. No, like, I, I think a lot of the CentOS horror stories are, like, CentOS 5, CentOS 6, like... Well, this was 7. seven and, se- I don't know, was seven, 7 and up is pretty was, solid. Yeah, again, it was just, I didn't, I wasn't consulting the almighty Google Ouija board or anything. I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, this, this works. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it's Linux, right? Like... You you know that your config lives somewhere in Etsy and your date and your 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 block files live somewhere under var and your binaries are under user somewhere. You can from with that in mind you can figure most shit out. You can, but not if your idea of Linux is KDE or GNOME. That's no, if it. your idea of Linux is KDE, then you know, you you have the brain damage. I'm sorry. Well, no, I mean, you could be running that retro uh, KDE. Yeah, I mean, you you could you could be running SUSE, and then you don't, then you just don't have a working system, so, like... No, what is the uh, window manager, uh, desktop manager with the classic KDE look and feel aesthetic? Uh, oh, no, pa- Pedro, Pedro didn't crash, he, he moved slightly. No, he does that sometimes, he was breathing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading. <laughs> I have the advantage of EU meters on the line input. No. Yeah, you, you you also like the, the return video, like mm. Jitsi fucks it up periodically, so like I have the pixely version of everything. It's good it's good enough to let me know where things are, which is what I need. If you want the classic kitty experience, uh Trinity. Trinity it works very, very well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But then Carrie As- Asmos, Carrie Ann Moss. <laughs> That's a different movie altogether. Yeah. Carrie Asmos. Carrie Ann <laughs> Car- Moss comes in and like Scorpion kicks you in the head. Peace and Trinity, so. Uh... <laughs> if you have like an older um, laptop or a really like ancient system oh, with man. a very slow CPU, Trinity works really well. That transparent console with the autumn background so that you can't fucking read anything in that terminal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is why this is why I hate when people turn on transparency. It's like, ah, I, I remember fucking around with that when I first started dicking around with compas, and it's like, oh, I can't read anything. I'm going back to solid colors. Oh, th- there was the hot moment when I went to um finally updated to XFC four twelve. Mm. And the default option was transparent. For the uh, taskbar, oh, no. which I couldn't figure out how come I couldn't set the because you know this is the initial setup, and I couldn't get the color to change. And I changed all the themes to black, and it was still like blue, whatever the default wallpaper was. What, 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 yeah, whatever is behind. <laughs> yeah, it. system default. <laughs> An embarrassing amount of time later, I realized it was fucking transparent. Fucker. <laughs> yep. Trash cat was not amused. All right, let's do a uh, last little bit. Hate mail. Yes. I will hit the stoop and I'll scroll down there. And there we go. Click and clack in three, two, back. It's the end. Congratulations. You've made it to where most people don't. Unless you uh, left us a comment and you're very much looking forward to uh, having us address it, which you can do. Listen, Pedro, I'll have you know I watched the video with the sound off. 
So it doesn't matter what you're saying right now. Ha ha. I mean, uh, yeah, that just means you're watching you, it on Linux, right? No, if, if you, <laughs> I, I wonder, I wonder if you exclusively relied on YouTube auto-generated subtitles, what could you take away from an episode of Linux Gamecast? Uh, what could you take away from an episode of Linux Gamecast? Ghost, what could you take away? Uh, I'm fucking with you now. <laughs> <laughs> It just stopped. It, it knew yeah, because of the ghosts. The yeah. gig was up. It was like, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to read it. Also, and <laughs> if uh, your particular room of residence is haunted, you can absolutely let us know about it. Go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, pick LGC Weekly as the show that you'd like to send your hate mail to, and it will be featured right now. Um, there's some caveats <laughs> if you're a game developer and you'd like us to have a look at your game. Just read the little bits at the top of the page. They're kind of relevant to you specifically. You know, I had a case of the crypto dick. I went to my doctor. I I, I don't know. They said it was terminal. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was kind of hoping you would exp- expand on that because I was wondering how the blockchain would die. Pa, in. I got the crypto dick. <laughs> there, 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 there is a blockchain in my urethra that is causing some problems right now. Don't worry, I have a cream for it. <laughs> oh no, it's delicious. <laughs> so we ah. talked about last week. Um, YouTube did a thing because YouTube's gonna do shit. Google, we should say Alphabet did a you, thing. He was gonna tube, and according to the internet, they made YouTube completely unusable, one hundred percent. Just go ahead and torch it experiments over we're done with it what i'm talking about is they are rolling out disabling not the down vote button but the numerical count that is under it and i think the three of us we just talked listen nobody here's jerking off youtube like do you even like notice that because i was genuinely curious if uh sandy or um jordan like do you weigh into that your decision on whether or not to watch the video to me i, I guess those metrics are there i typically don't pay attention to it uh pedro what are your thoughts on the like do you use that or did you i should uh, say <laughs> not really uh i you much like me Jordan more of last a, week uh, you, yes, you strike me more of a youtube comments user than a downvote user i i have been known for uh, starting discussions on the youtube comments yes mostly to my own amusement uh but no much like jordan last week um i use the down buttons like oh youtube gave me a suggestion that is not something that i do like Mm -hmm. so it's like hit that down vote button and then that won't show up as a suggestion again yeah that that that's what i use it for but i know that there are some people who go around brigading videos and mass down voting them i i think that's the excuse that uh alphabet youtube specifically is uh, car 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 86 (laughs) They say, uh, and th- their take on this is, let's say someone uploads a video with misinformation about Linux or a video promoting some kind of scam. Don't you think it would be valuable for users to be able to see the likes to dislikes ratio then? Let's say that a user gets 8K likes and next to the like button is just a dislike button and no number. The average user will think that everyone likes the video and that there's something wrong with them if they didn't like the content. This is obviously user manipulation and it shouldn't be allowed to happen, dot, dot, dot. I don't think that's what they're doing. <laughs> I think they're yeah, getting rid of uh, that bar entirely. Uh, <laughs> well, that that and like d- upvote to downvote ratio doesn't actually fucking mean anything. It means that there that the the content is contested in some way. That's why there's a sh- sort by controversial on Reddit so that you can see what both are like. Um, I don't I don't know, Ben. You have a well thought out response to this. How I, I didn't prepare. How dare you? <laughs> the fuck, man. Got to cut me at the end of the episode like that. Yeah, I like to watch you bleed, bitch. So yeah, this this is kind of comes out with you know let uh, hypothetical, which is like, what's think of the children? And you know, here's my thing: the, the problem with using the up and down, and I'm just saying from my personal experience, I just don't even filter that. I noticed that this afternoon when I was because re- I, I had to do a quick Google search on DaVinci Resolve. I'm like, how do I do the motion tracking with the blur again? I make a lot of videos and my sorting algorithm, no one cares about because when I want a YouTube video, I want it to be shortened to the fucking point. I don't need 18 minutes for like two minutes of information. Unfortunately, nobody really votes on that. And they're like, Hey, did you say, Hey fam enough or some shit like that? Now the average user, 
who's going to give that an upvote is also the same average user that will give it a downvote. So if that's what you're relying on. It's not a good, for me, way of judging the quality or content. In this case, content of a video. Now, the whole point of this, let's just not kid ourselves. The whole point of this is to get people, to trick people, however you want to phrase it, more people watching more videos because more money. That's it. That There's no, we do not need red yarn or conspiracy theories <laughs> to just say what this is. And YouTube should have just said, fuck it. This is how we're going to roll. We're going to get people to watch videos longer, period. You know, they're definitely going after the people who would look at the downvote arrow. 100%. 100%. They want people watching. They don't care if it's good. The algorithm doesn't care if it's bad. They just want you to keep watching so they can make those ads happen, baby. Because that's why. Or those YouTube red cells. Yeah. Yep. That's so that you don't have to why watch <laughs> YouTube exists to sell ads. It's not a community service. It's not a project to help out humanity. It's there to sell ads. That's it. I look at YouTube. No. How many times have I gotten shit over the years? You need to step up that YouTube game. Then you do. You need to do more of this and more of that and more fans and all that other bullshit. I'm like, no. I mean, I will acknowledge that we have a YouTube channel. And I have nothing against YouTube because I view YouTube as a content delivery network that cuts us a check for like $15 at the end of the month. <laughs> okay, I don't mind that ratio. And if you want to watch it there, you can watch it on library or whatnot. But it seems, gentlemen, we have a new generation coming to grips with that YouTube is an advertising platform. It's not your friend. It's not there to help you yeah. out. It YouTube is not you. your friend. It really yeah, isn't. and it was like <laughs> user manip. Okay, and th there's the point at the end of user manipulation shouldn't be allowed to happen. Yeah. Welcome to social media. The entire thing is user manipulation. Right. Uh, from 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 Genesis. If you're not a fan of having people try to fuck with knobs in your brain, you should. Maybe, I don't know, live in the woods. Yeah, don't use social media at all at that point. Uh, no Twitters, no Facebooks, no nothing. Can't yeah. use the internet. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got to use a real net and like cast it and catch fish and like live in the woods. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it boils down to like, if that was like your way of using YouTube, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, Reddit still exists. Yeah, you if you got off there. on the uh, up and down votes, well, there is another website that still has visible up and down votes. Pornhub. And it will help you get off. <laughs> yes. Vote. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shot in the dark, but I think I had something. <laughs> Pornhub is very much, it has, uh, okay. you know, uh, up por votes por and down votes, and you can see por the count. Por por Pornhub has a thumb so. somewhere. <laughs> where, where is this? I don't know. <laughs> it has multiple thumbs. Okay. In all, right. all the places you might like, <laughs> or not. See, we're answering the real questions this evening on Linux Team. <laughs> so yeah, where does Pornhub stick their thumb? Send your hate um, mail. I, I try to look at it like this. I mean, if there was something they changed in YouTube that I relied on, that YouTube went, poof, I'd be pissed off. But I'd also immediately go, well, "That's fucking YouTube." I mean, live I'm, live streams. How many? Remember? Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, we bitched for a solid year about that, and it's still not good. Not at all. Yeah. When they fucked up the creator <laughs> studio, that's still this amalgam of nonsense that we have to deal with every time we go. Notice how we went to Twitch. I mean, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do your things, man. You gotta do your things. No corn hub, bad corn hub. All right, <laughs> no corn hub, <laughs> hot, steamy butter. No, <laughs> on that corn hub. I fuck. I don't know where to go with that. Um, I bring you corn. <laughs> corn. This will never work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vince Stone on Twitter. That's also technically our official Twitter page because we didn't expect anyone to ever watch this. But if you want to do the Mastodon thing, we have that. Thank you, Civic, at mass.linuxteamcast.com. I am also reasonably active on that as well. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. You can scream at me in Discord. Send me an email. I'll be around. Hi, I'm Jordan Korn. You Hi. can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool to hear my hot corn takes. What am I? What am I fucking Is swift on hate? security? No. 
<laughs> and I am Pedro Mateus. You can find me on Twitter uh, struggling with my webcam because I'm wearing a dark blue shirt and it kept trying to make it uh, black, so it kept fucking with the white balance. That's why I look green tonight. Thanks. Um, try web. I try webcorn. How do you use <laughs> your webcam on Twitter? I'm curious. <laughs> I was going to get streaming. to that. <laughs> 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 but yes, you can find me doing other things on camera. Not really. Uh, on uh, Twitter at Unaccounted4. Uh, if you would like to also suggest uh, other things that I could do on camera. Maybe not for Pornhub, but, y you know, a more uh, family-friendly website. Or Pornhub. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, beautiful people, there's probably a kernel of truth in that. We gotta roll the credits. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Seven secret herbs and spices combined. Mices. I don't know. I misread it. Sp it's full of rats. Mices. Mices. <laughs> Seven secret herbs and lices, man. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta thank our advisors, Omegas. It's better than Othera. the original. When we use dices, people are always chipping teeth. <laughs> I, mean, I got way too many dice. Our executive producers, Alias Barbara, Scott Michaud, Michael Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, Michael G, Michael T, Drummer, and Kohaku. Chicago kicks ass, bringing it in with Darkwing and Abstraction. We'll see monsters, Jack B, Renault, Rider X Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frostclaw, and Strider. Ooh -hoo. Death Notes, and Nova K, notes. Basil, Dak, Kim, Smashley, Mark, and Chris. No, come back, Steve, and Jout, and Benjamin. Smashley. Doom to what? <laughs> See, uh, Dodger. Yes. Dirty ah. Dean back. Game Matron and Zeno. Dodger. Pebble, Oil of Hope, Jim, Monica, Alex. Oh, man, look at these fuckos. Look at them. Mascat, <laughs> Nubbin, Douglas. You know uh, the scan line effect Lyrics? on Frank? <laughs> Shows up better on Incredible some John Eshop and Game Matron. Better on some monitors than the others. It looks really good. Mm. In the is, is, is it RTX powered? Ah, dude. Tensor Wiggles. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you need tensor tracing. cores to actually get the 720i, true, true baby, 720i. It, baby. <laughs> we'll see you next week, beautiful people. Bye, Dying bye. Fire. bye. <laughs>could like maybe do a four player thing because now we don't have to we can fit two more people in or we can make two people happy and two other people angry yeah i, I mean at per perfectly balanced that's all things should be <laughs> i mean i'm, not, I'm uh, not hearing how that doesn't solve the problem no i, I, I don't know let me I, I i wasn't aware of this twist let me stroll through steam for a hot second and uh See what see what's fucking there, man. Um, we can play some chicken horse. Yeah, we can do some chicken horse. Uh, library. There we go. That's the button. How many people do we got? Do you want to like do some? We can do that. What's that? No, and see the problem with a scribbly game is it's uh, is there a way to spectate scribble IO? Uh, no, I don't think so. Ah, see, if there was a way to spectate, that'd be infinitely. Hey, we could play Just Cause too, because I just remembered that I bought that before the show. Yeah, we, we, could, we could we could try to get the multiplayer working live on stream. <laughs> Tune um, in from now till Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, what, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, gang Beasts? You want to do some Gang Beasts? How many people can play Gang Beasts? Like eight. I'll try it. I'm not against Gang Beasts, do I have it? I mean, I sure I have it. I have all the games. Yeah. Gang. I mean, it's, it's one of the... Foxy bought it for us, I think. Oh, hang on. That reminds me when I did a search for Gang. The Savior's Game. Oh, does that have multiplayer? Fuck, probably not. 
Um, I'm going I'm, to... I mean, I, I would be down to backseat if we're just going to like try and speed run the savior gang. No, it doesn't. But it did show up when I did it. God damn it. Well, dang. Public testing. Didn't, yep. Oh, hang on. I know why I didn't fuck with this because it was a. Uh, it ran like it's like crippled the fucking system. Uh, That's why we didn't do the gang base again after testing. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's. For some we reason, could do tricky OBS towers. No like it. Tricky towers is an option. Um, bro force. Bro force sounds fun. Yeah, we want to do some bro sports. Oh, I'll do some bro sports. All right, let's, let's do some bar face. Yeah. Bar farce. Bar bar. It's easy to insult too. Wow, that thing's a gig. Damn. Well set, bet. All right, everyone, we're gonna be kicking over to the after shows, and so if you wanna hop in, come hang out with us. Consider that your invitation. Yes. What is the temperature outside? Oh no. Wow. What is it? <sighs> the temperature that you wouldn't be able to deal with. Probably. It's five. Time to consider taking off the uh, t-shirt. Yeah. Maybe not having- he still, got the, he, still, he still got the wizard robe on, so. Yeah, it's warm. Mm. This thing doesn't breathe, in case you haven't noticed. I have! Yeah. So I'm gonna pull this back up. And... There it goes. Three. I want the new version of the Raspberry Pi. I want. I kind of want the compute mod module with that Pine 64. I think mm. they released for it. Just to fuck with. It's been a minute since I've gotten something just to play with. Dick around with? Yeah, for no point of like, hey, we're going to make videos and just something to play with. Keep your brain occupied. Yeah, you know, just like something you can keep on the bench every now and then. Just go play around with. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to kick over to after shows and everyone, so there's your fair warning. Michael. Michael. Right, I got to add audio. Give me a second. I I do I do want one of those um those like Pi Zero um like compute boards like the um, the fucking uh like the you plug in all the modules to it and you can like just like run a cluster on like a one U thing. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, like a little bit. So why are we not? Oh, right. I must have not. Okay, I gotta wire things. Guest. AJ snapshot. Yeah, I gotta save it. Uh, foldback guest is going out to guest. I was trying to come up. This this is like a a valid solution to have like a permanent like Sandy just hanging out in the session. Mm. So I didn't have to uh, destroy Pedro's. Right, you just you just have like the hot swap ready to go. Right, and just. Enable disable, so I'm, I'm learning from my mistakes right now. Mm. It's the best way to learn. Hey man, you gotta learn live. Yep. So I'm assuming guest went out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guest Can you hear out. us? Nope. Can't hear you. Nope. Okay. Cool. That's probably for in your best interest. Ugh. Why? Oh right. Okay. I gotta save this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Outputs four. Okay, playback nine ten. Now we do <laughs> J 
Yes. Done. All right. Signs. I can take down Page. Well, no. I still have a question about controlling volume. That's the thing with pipe wire. You just keep using yeah. whatever is available. P P A C M D, uh Pavu control, yeah. It's all plug and play. Pavu, that's what I'm gonna <laughs> be sticking with. Something newer than a four. Yes. I want something because I want to believe that the next gen Pi is going to be powerful enough to do what these two boxes, these well three butter robots do. I want something low powered arm that can. Well, uh, who who just released the? It was uh, MediaTek, right? That just released the M1 competitor. They announced it. Qual yeah. Qualcomm I, also uh, uh, yeah. announced or, uh, one uh, as well. Qualcomm. Yeah, Qualcomm. Yeah, Problem is, is yeah, Qualcomm, Qualcomm is talking about something that they're planning on releasing that's going to be competing with a chip that's been out for two years. No, no, yeah, yeah. no, but I'm, 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 what I'm, I'm more thinking like not specifically of that, but like once we start seeing some more, um, what, what, once desktop arm starts becoming more of a just present quantity, yeah, it'd be nice to get some like nooks for that kind of shit. That's a that's what I want pies to become. I I want. I we've already proven that I'm willing to pay seventy dollars for a pie, so mm -hmm. make that a hundred. We can keep the eight gigs. I can you can desktop with eight gigs. Yep. But mm -hmm. yeah, give me some more grunt and some PCIe holes. I don't think I'd be happy. I'd be done. Man, I, I, oh. I was I was looking at uh, an ARM system development board, and they're like, "Yeah, it has a, it has a PCIe slot, and like a 16 core ARM CPU." I'm like, "You know, you can build Mesa on ARM. Could you? Can, can we just can we just get like full Radeon Vulcan on uh, on uh, ARM? Is that is that a thing that can happen? Probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and see that 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 that's what I want. I want like the beefy GP. I want I want what Nvidia is promising, like the beefy S GPU where all the work is actually done, and the little scheduler CPU just to like send shit to it. Mm -hmm. Be like, herp derp, I'm something to interact with. Well, I like the idea of the carrier board with the compute module. Mm -hmm. This is I want something next gen to plug into that because that comes with a PCIe by one, mm -hmm. which fits my needs. Um, I I don't know. Like, uh, again, yeah. Like, give me an all-in-one. Give me another pie board with just I just just a little yeah. more oomph. The 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 power to space density shit is what really gets me going with like the arm stuff because mm -hmm. you can like literally have like a mini data center in like something the size of like a like a freezer, right? Like a bar fridge. Or well, I mean that's been the promise of arm since. Yeah. Uh, let's see. But now now, uh, now we're seeing like shit that can actually pull it off. Force. Oh, man. One, one, one thing we're never going to actually get out that I would like to get my hands on is some of like the Graviton processors, the AWS ones. Right. The ones that are like hella accelerated for everything. It's, yeah. Let's see. We're going to need audio for Bro Force, so I need to hit that. Is there any chance? It's, 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 it's a loud one. Just a heads up. Yeah. All right. So let me pull that back down. Pulse Audio Jack Sync. Let's move that to Jack Sync Game Audio. Oh boy, it does have some noise, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> I, I just booted the game up. I got hit by that. I'm like, oh boy, that's uh no. So why am I not? Way we had this conversation last week. Brain. Why didn't I? Um... Why am I not getting the music? Ah, oh, that's why. Same thing last week, dumbass. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Never suspected that. Okay, doesn't this thing do the weird thing to where, um, like, if you look at the keyboard, it activates or some shit? I think that was Chicken Horse. Might have been. Let's find out. Uh, so who we got? Who we got? Who we got? We got Alan. We got Patrick. We got Nubsy. Mm. And North Ranger fell asleep. <laughs> oh, controller worked. 
All right. Look at you oh, being sweet. all fancy. Like after I started the game, that's that's something I, I don't have 100% on. I think Broforce is SDL too. Join on I don't have Broforce in the style. Post. Wait, how do I create one? Game? Uh, I think I think you just start and people can join. Start a new and camp again. Post online. Game name. Um, I don't know, Ben. That's always safe, isn't it? Yes. Password. Player limit? Oh, that's a max of four. That's fine. No! Ha! Yes! Fuck you, game. I got it. All right. <laughs> there we go. We're up. If anybody wants to come in. Join online, Ven. I need to do a bio break, get something to drink, and we'll hop into this. Wait, what? Join online... Ven is hmm. Ven's showing offline for me. Oh, I needed to pick another save slot. Got it. Joining. Ah, there he is. Oh no. What, what, what happened? I'm confused. Join online. Let's try that again. Thank God. It's going to take me a minute. I got to download it. No, no, what? birds ah, get back here you fucker get back here oh didn't like that Yeah, you gotta be very careful with canceling in this game. It will just fucking kick you to the main menu. Yeah, and now nothing is working. <laughs> what else is new, Patrick? Uh... Sky wasn't blue. I mean, it's California. It might be like a red because it's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, uh, be swift. Four players max. But we can rotate. It's gonna take me a while. Dude, it's, it's not a, a very big game. It's a gigabyte, man. Game oh, is come on, hey, uh, I don't have it in my library. Wow. It's it's been in so many bundles. You can get it. For Oof. Anyone else watch uh, Wheel of Time? I did. No. 
I do. I, I am. Um. Uh, keep, keep. I, I guess keep the spoiler talk I, right for the people who haven't watched it. Yeah. yeah I, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm trying to give it some leeway. <laughs> After reading yeah. the books, it, it's been a while since I read the first one, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out, based on my memory, what, what, whether it's actually uh, literally by by the book. Literally, my favorite part about the show is that everyone has such a long and stupid name, and the first time everyone appears, someone has to, like, say their long-ass stupid name in full, so that we know who the hell they are. Yes. Landman Dragoran. <laughs> this, 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 is, this, is, this is why all my NPCs in D&D are named, like, Bob and Jim and shit. <laughs> There we go. Mm. Let's try this again. So did everybody hop in? I see it. No, it's nope. just me and you. All right. Cool. Uh, yep. No, Nevin is purchasing and downloading the game. Alan is hanging out, and Patrick is flailing around like the Beaker Muppet that he is. Mm. Yep. We gotta get you um the Dark Alliance game. Yeah, I have I have it on my uh, Steam wish list. It didn't go on a satisfactory sell. No, because because it fucking came out and they're like, we can still justify charging people full price for this busted piece of shit. I checked it a couple of times. I'm like, nope. Mm -mm. And I don't want to put it back on my wish list to track it. Can you even do that? I don't know. Maybe for like gifts. Possibly. Sound. Yes, yeah, so I want the soundtrack. Yeah, fifty-two bucks. No, no. All right, man. You ready? I guess, yeah, let's fucking go for it. We have equal control over the helicopter, so... Right. I was just driving around and chopping birds in half. Alright, let's see if I fucking remember how to play this goddamn game. Oof. Oh, yes, is, it just, is, is it just me? Beast oh. Wick, yep. Ma ah, machete. Players. Machete, machete. Checkpoint... There's okay. a backup dude. Yay! Time bro! Who? Oh, time cop. Ah! Who do I get? I got... Oh, I got Matt. I got Mel Gibson. I'm gonna go say some questionable things about, uh... We're gonna kill the devils. People. Yep. Kill the devil. No! I like how they're all like, Kyle Hitler, and then they die. Right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, who who am I? I'm just I'm oh. 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 Hang on, I'm a uh, You're you're Jay. I'm oh. dead. That's who I am. Fuck you. Alright. Uh okay, there's there's another guy here. There. Get back. Oh, you're the Boondock Saints. I'm gonna come at you in stereo if you don't leave me. Well how do I even get up there? Oh, there we go. Uh. Oh, you get who? Who are you? Oh, you're the Sperminator. Yeah, baby. If you jump, if if you jump and shoot, you you fly back. I die, probably. Yeah. All right. Who who am I? Um, <laughs> John John McCluskey. Who, uh, who who are you? Who are you? Uh, I oh, know. I got a rocket. America! 
All right. Yeah. It's, I, oh shit! I'm 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 cr oh, crumb. Yes. Gonna judge you? No. Oof. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> nice try. All right, who am I? Oh, I'm I'm Ashley oh, Williams. Fuck yeah. We must go higher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh my man. Uh, um, all right. Hmm. Ah, yeah, that's, that's what, thank you. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm back. I'm back to being Ash. Ah! Oh shit! There's a secret passageway down here. Can I shoot down? Uh, no, you can't. Who, who am I? I am back to. Oh, Robocop. Universal. Fuck yeah! Suicide bomber. Universal. Back. Oh, you're Robocop now, damn it. Yep, yep. Get all the cool ones. Wow. Wait, no. He doesn't make that noise. Wow, he goes. Wow, wow. He goes, don't move, creep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm Blade, motherfucker. Oh, oh fuck, no. yeah. No, Wait, no, I'm who just am I? Oh, I'm... oh you're, you're Neo. Yeah. All right. Oh, Patrick joined finally. <laughs> Who am I now? Who's? Uh, you're Ripley. Oh shit! Right on. Uh oh. Bye. Uh, I might have found myself with just a touch of deceased. Yeah, there you go. Indiana Bones. Oh, what the fuck? Right. Well, that was a good run. Right. Okay. Bruiser. The pinnacle right. of terrors. Criming technology. Criming technology. Right. Crimey. Patrick. Yeah. You're you're alive again. Was. Not. Okay. Go! Yes! Yeah. That's how we I was, I was. I was the, tra the trapper. The flag was up already. Uh, playing with the keyboard. Not fun. All right, liberated Vietnam. All right, and that's the one where we're all uh, we're all the same guy. The C ones. Oh, so where Lord, do we go? Three. Or? Uh, yeah, three. Great. Uh, let's, uh, Three or let's C. Do that. C3? This is our sluts guy. It's from Papers, Please. Yep. Let's do it. Hmm? Glory to our sluts guy. Alright, who am I? I'm the Sperminator. I'm a clone. Oh shit! I'm Uma Thurman! Oh shit! I didn't even know she was. A yeah, they added a. They, I know they added a bunch of stuff. Ah, ah. Well, well. So much for Uma Thurman. Well. Oh right. I was like, you can just hold down fire. Derp. Ah, yeah. uh, you can't with Dirty Harry because he has six shots. Oh, I'm alive again. Excellent. Free life. Mine's Whoa, right. okay. That that happened. All right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> ah oh, man, it's a bullshit rocketeer, man. Well, do we have a special? It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's triangle. The. Uh, no, it's a uh, circle. Uh, God damn B. it. B. Right. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I don't know what controller. I had to go look. Uh, oh, well, oh. Boop. I died. That 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 is the one thing with this game is you get fucking character blind when shit starts. A little blowing bit. Out. A little bit. Damn. I don't know where. All right. Come, come on, come on, Mr. V. You got this. 
I pitted the fool. Oh, well. Kill. Just gotta kill Satan. Oh, d uh, care careful on that second floor. It's full of instant death. Yeah, I see this. Can I, um... Uh, Geo, uh... Oops. Damn it. <laughs> well, you, you, you that killed was the not devil. my fault. <laughs> All right. That was. Oh. Oops. That All right. Um... Ah. Yes. Oh. I died. So... Alright. Okay, now slightly less gusto this time. Now, uh, 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 uh Boondock Saints! Oh, I, I died. Because because everything exploded. Right, I should just let you. I should let Patrick go first. Fuck this actually trying to play the game shit. <laughs> go, Patrick, run! Oh, shit. Conan Super. It's pretty good. Kapla! Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn. damn it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the worst timing. The worst. Okay. Well, Whereas um, we're okay. All right. All right. Stop. Every, everything stop ah. moving and exploding. All right. I like how it's pointing down, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's... Careful. Damn it! Well... Ah! Mission five, <laughs> three, two, one, go, go. Oh, what, there's more of these fuckers? Somebody's having a little too much fun. Yeah. I don't want to be Chuck Norris anymore. I'm the Rocketeer. Uh, that's kind of a bullshit character, unfortunately. Yeah, you 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 get you the good jump though. So I guess that's the uh, that's the. Oh, and you get that dive kick. Shit. I didn't know you had a dive kick. Yeah. Oh, I got a punch. All right, neat. All right, I'm just gonna take the D. Take the take the victory. Go. <laughs> We've been stuck. On We've been stuck on this level for too long. <laughs> With the power of jetpack, I can just skip over all this shit. Look at that. That was pretty tight. Three, two, yeah. One. Let's go. Okay, I'm Ripley. Oh. Damn it. Uh, Have fun. Waiting for. Uh. Mm. Yeet! Uh, uh, oh, okay. That, never that, mind, never that, mind. That, 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 that took a fucking minute, didn't it? All right, who am I? I am. Oh shit! I'm what's her face from uh, Death Proof. Death Proof. Or, uh, Planet Terror. Te uh, Planet Terror. The Got Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez. Okay. Oh no, she sucks. Whip. Mirror, get up, uh, get one of the dudes. We're both dead. You freaking goof. Alright, Mr. T. Alright. Okay. Uh oh. Oh? Napalm. Alright. Oh, good. The, the, oh, yeah, end of the level. Go for it, go for it. Woo! Woo! Do, 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 do. Got it. Uh, hey, oh, I, I came back to life. Nailed it. <laughs> Just as the level ended. Bad puppers. <laughs> Conan again. I'm in stereo. All right. All right. Fine. Crumb! Jeez. Uh, yeah, fucking Crumb, baby. Oh, and then I died. I got shot in the head. So, <laughs> moral of the story. Uh, sword gun is eating sword most of the time. Uh, I use things. Go. Go, go, go! Oh no! Oh, you got one left. You got one left because you're the. You're, oh no! Yeah, uh, no, it didn't work out. Like this. Uh, no, no, it did not. All right, Machete. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say things like planning because that wasn't really part of it. Oh, 
Oh no. Uh, uh, check one. What are you doing? I don't know. Where, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to away from that because I'm going to get exploded. All right. Well, I don't like that. Of... Yep. yep. Oh man, so many machetes. Hmm. Oof. Ah, okay. Pat. Bat poppers. This guy, this guy's a son of a bitch. He's taking a bunch of damage though, so you might be able to kill him in one hit. Oh, do you have a secondary attack left? On B or circle? Oh. Maybe you gotta hold it down? I don't know. Nope. Alright. Well. That works. Get, get that Satan. Alright. Liberated. Hell yeah, I got to be Robocoppers. Nice. Did. That was a very short lift. Alright. Why does uh, this chicken... That's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's MacGyver. Alright, well I guess it's just me then! Oh, look at me. I can slide down the rope more than once. Are they all dead? Probably Excellent. Not. All right, <laughs> I saved one of you. Just wake up. Ah, uh, why is it Save me? Save me from the nap. All right, there we go. Save. Fuck you. I'm solid. Who? Who am I supposed oh, to be? You're snake? Uh, am I snake? No, you're Chuck Norris. Oh, all right. I gotta be careful with this. Yeah, the grenades are. Uh, Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I don't. I'll get, I'll get it in a minute. There we go. Damn, I they didn't I kill it. I don't think, I don't think your grenades hurt you. It's, I don't want to find out, you know? But you just ate a grenade, so. Proved effective. Yeah, n n now you play the waiting game. Yes. Is, is everything done? Expect? Will that fire hurt me? Hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully not. Hmm. Do I need to go up? Uh, yeah. Damn. I mean, look. yeah, you could try and shoot through and go through the other side. Just not deal with them. Not that way. <laughs> Can I go down? Well. Like if, like if, if you go all the way to that uh, rightmost wall and just blow a hole through, you can climb up the other side. Just around, right? Or not. Pfft. I tried to help. <laughs> oh, <f> Science <laughs> bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They've uh, lost patience. the will to live. <laughs> they died of boredom. I think you need to get a little higher, so you got to do the up and over. The up and over. Yeah, like you need to go up and to the right. Uh, I hey, gotta go, go through this nonsense first. Yeah, yeah. Damn it! Do the thing. <laughs> no, that would require. Uh, do you have a? Uh, do you have what do you what do you have on circle? Is that like more precise? Nope. There it is. Grenade sucks, Dufresne. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're making progress. Welcome, welcome back to the PGA Pro Tour. Damn. Can you hold the grenade a little bit before you throw it to like let it? No. <laughs> Spam! Can I just get over here? No? Uh, you, you, you can try it, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna die. Yeah.
I have issues with when this thing explodes. Right? When it goddamn feels like it? Pretty much. If I can just get a hole. Yeah, he's <laughs> making, making progress one block at a time. Welcome back to Can I punch through it? I think uh, uh, triangle or Y, I think, is a melee attack. Might be able to just fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. I don't, I don't think your grenades are Because okay. you're Chuck Nor Norris. Grenades explode around you. Right, but I'm having the problem going in that upward direction. <laughs> yeah. With the grenades. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Fair. I want to see if I can just come this way. I can't. I want to break free. <laughs> you know what? I think oh, I can make that. I want to break free. Oh, Ooh. nice. All right, yeah. I would not have made that. That horrible. Um. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go up. Are you sure? Think yeah. so. All right, that's some bullshit. No, it's it's the secret level. If you just keep going down, it's where the cows are. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Fuck you, game. Like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? This is the fucking Kobayashi Maru, motherfucker. This is the no-win scenario. Apparently. Oh, can you get to the... Can you spawn another player? Come on, B. Jordan. Done. Oh, why is it oh, me? It's, it's, it's the boss fight. Oh, oh but this boss is a little bitch. You can literally stand right under him and wail on him. Or yeah. stand on top Good luck. All right. Come on, Snipes. Evade those bullets like you evaded those taxes. You know that wasn't his fault, quite strangely. It was his fucking uh, account and fucked him over. Wow. You know, you know what? I, I don't, I literally know nothing about Wesley Snipes' tax stuff other than he went to jail for it. Yeah. That was the, uh, I mean, it was his bad decision hiring the guy, but. Right, but it, it, it wasn't any malfeasance. No, he wasn't like, trying to ninja out of taxes. All right, so what now? Two? I guess we, I guess, yeah. Cambodium. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. I'm trying to. No, I guess we all have to. All right, loading. Go. Alright. Oh, I'm Time Cop. I'm Neo. Oh, I got crushed by a block. God damn it. Where am I at? Oh, there I am. Oh, I got yeah, double jump powers. Me. Neat. Rescue me. So I can You're be welcome. Will Smith. I can be in the Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. Rescued. Oh, well, for. Can go under or more under. Come from a land down under. Watch out. Foxy's joining and he wants to play apparently. Oh, he does. I saw, I saw him. I saw him uh, start up Rogue Force in Steam. Ah. Oh. Oh God. Like time. Yeah. I my character's dead, so I don't know what I've been controlling. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, someone dropped the block out of from under me. 
Uh, Ram Rambro, go. I'm working on it. Go, bro. Takes me a minute at this advanced stage. Uh, no rush, but can one of you invite me? Nope. That'd be great. Just, I just can't rock going. I try it. It won't let me. Uh, look for the, uh, I think. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll just try to find one. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, look for Ven. Ven. The, the, yeah. the room name is Ven. I'm right here, you guys. Jeez. <laughs> Are you? Mm. I don't know. All right, I'm. I'm Am I coming or going? Huh? Oh, got it. All right. Ah, wrong way. <laughs> uh, what the? Why do you get to shoot down? I don't get to shoot down. This is bullshit. Uh, she can only shoot down. That's the problem. You know what? That's this forward shooting pretty tight. I I got like rocket propelled shit. That's like, uh, rather... things are gonna blow up on me. Watch out! Oh, I'm Indiana Brones. Oh. And now I'm the Rocketeer. Okay. Appar apparently everyone else died. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're alive. All right. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I love this fucking Power Rangers ass riff. Yeah, yeah, I, I can feel that. I can feel that. All right, MacGoover. Man, that was. Oh wait, no, I'm uh, short run. JCVD. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed no, to be no. Dolph. No, I'm I'm MacGyver because I got the dynamite chicken. I think so. Oh. Here comes lag. <laughs> hey. Yay. Whoa. Brilliant. All right. Yes. My ah. Oh, wait. No. We, 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 we did this level already. What the fuck? Well, this is going to be a test and a half because I'm running Wayland on NVIDIA. Wow. So, so brave. So, yeah. So, this is X Wayland playing this. Am I in yet? No? Ah, that's fire. Come on, controller. There we go. <laughs> Damn it! Ooh. I am just Oh, I can actually- oh, oh. oh, fuck, I can actually plant Ow. dynamite. Like, actually Damn. determine where it's gonna go at a time. Dumbass, you're gonna blow yourself up. No, you're Come not. On, there you go. <laughs> now, now they're going. Save me. Save. Wait, yeah. Save me from Wait, myself <laughs> if you ever really can. Never mind. <laughs> Mission uh, failed. Fishing mails. Mission. Welcome back to full on character blindness. Fuck yeah. Yep. Alright. Oh no, I'm what's the fuck again? <laughs> I might have been a bit ambitious on that one. I don't want Quentin Tarantino to take pictures of my feet. No, <laughs> Quentin, put the camera away and my shoes back on. Now do it, whoever's right. By this, yeah. Uh, that's right. Well, you, get, you gotta do the thing where you just randomly press jump every now and then to see if your character's back. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll just do now. What one am I? Oh, I'm this one. Right. I'm just trying to narrow down if I have control of anything on the screen. I'm like, hey, that thing's moving. All right, I'll be that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, what the hell did I die from? <laughs> no. I died from something. I got robo shot. Oh. Ah, motherfucker. Go, hey. go, 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 Come go, go, go. Up top. Player three, player three. Go, 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 go. Where, where, where Don't fuck around. Go, 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 go. Oh, up, no, up, 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 there we go. Yeah! Ah. Hail Satan! Don't fuck with anything, because the screen was like, you're gonna stay here. It came up saying you've unlocked James Bond. <laughs> okay. And you believe James it. James Bronze. Uh, I'm Walker, Texas Stranger. 
I am whatever his name was in this movie. I just killed myself <laughs> doing that. Lovely. All right. Yeah. I don't want to be Chuck Norris anymore. I'm going to be other Chuck Norris. Okay. <laughs> it's always fun to find Chuck. out that you are, in fact, controlling a character on the other side of the screen. Right? Yeah. I wish they could fix that, because that's really annoying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. Don't okay, fuck up. I saw myself. It's you versus truck. Yeah. That grenade did fucking nothing! <laughs> Since when does Walker call in an airstrike? Hey man, he's got ranger powers. <laughs> well, I'll do it, but still. Speed run! Alright. Let's go. Yeah! Fuck actually fighting this shit. There I go. Speed run. Alright, oh, it's the chopper. Helicopter. Hatred copter! Dun, 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 dun. Air superiority. <laughs> Technology. Dun, 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 dun. God damn it. Oh, fuck! Oh. Damn it. Where am I? Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, give me blade to fly the chopper. That was great. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> chopper saplings. <laughs> oh, where am I? Okay, give me even more useless character. Hang on. Save me. Somewhere. There we go. There you go. There you are. Saved. Alright, we got... We, we need someone with like a good upwards attack because none of us have. Not me, apparently. It's Squad wipe. <laughs> Squid wipe. Chopper proved Squad effective. Wipe. It's super effective. All right, I'm time to cop again. I am Neo. Oh, oh no. Okay, we, we, all right. They're, they're, they're not going to fucking stick us back to where we were. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the big um, flaggy things are for. Double bro seven. All right. Um, Alcoholism. Yeah, that's why I got James in. alcoholism. Oh, I, I ran, it killed me when I ran into it. I'm trying to punch the thing. That, that'll do it. Punch <laughs> it. Come on. I only have one left. Save me. No. Oh. Save someone. And, oh, never mind. Save me. <laughs> is there anyone I can save? Or is this, nope. No. Is this the end? I can't see. <laughs> this is the end, my only friend. Where are you, fucking helicopter? Oh man, you can jump on top of it. Yeah, you can ride it. Oh. I didn't know this. This is new information. Really? Whoa, that does that. Noted. <laughs> How do I get back up? I gotta get back up. I gotta get heights. Ah. Uh. Do I have you punk ass helicopter? Come uh, no, let's just you now. Never mind. <laughs> uh, you're Come the, on, the, what, 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 you, what you have on uh, circle is really good, but you need a you need circle. a big charge up for that. The square uh, B. B, whatever B. Yeah, B. I don't, depends what control you're on. It could also be A. <laughs> no, let me get up. I want to ride the helicopter. Oh, I got my hit. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Can you just buy it on it, or do you have to beat it? No, no, you 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 gotta beat it. That's that's what triggers the end of the level. Ah, fair enough. This is this is like the worst dude to be doing this fight with, though. Yes, it is. For real. Come on! Wow. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. I don't die. Doesn't matter. Still had sex. Alright. Still fucking counts, baby. Sparkles. Sparkles! So do we fuck with four or what? I mean, it's up to us. It's fucking open world. Sure. Let's... This is emergent narrative at the extreme. Clearly. All right, we'll do this one. More. All right, Richard Crono, where are we going? Do 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 Let's try this again. Um, Suicide Squad. <laughs> well, that's one. 
Uh, uh, no. Oh, where am I? I'm going. I'm dead. I'm trying to res someone by blowing them up. That's how you do it. <laughs> Alright, who am I? I'm Machete. Machete! Ah, I found one. <laughs> Dead. Ah, I, wa I walked right into that one. I, 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 yeah, walked in. I dare say this is a wee bit of a hockey stick on the difficulty. Yeah, I dare say. So, so what we need to do is like break the bridge and go down. If anyone has like a downward attack. Nope. Nope. Oh, or, or, or that. That work. Brothers of the oh, oh, no, God damn it! Really? Brothers of the mining horde, <laughs> sing, sing, sing with me. Raise your pickaxe, raise your horde. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bro, and I'm digging a bro, diggy diggy bro, diggy diggy bro. Well, someone killed me. Yep. I, I'm I, I'm I'm living that mining lifestyle. <laughs> I got someone. Oh yeah! Come on, Ash. Let's oh, go. Watch out! Oh, watch out for the mines. Okay. And the bomb. Yeah. So uh, th there was the mines, and I stopped, and then the bomb showed up, and I'm like, "Well." Yeah. Right. right wait. Oh, why am I just? Psst. Yeah. We just take take the uh, take the shit down. Lead the way. Because I got no bullets. And all I got is this whip. I mean, you could help. Go, go. Yeah. I can't. This whip does nothing. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does nothing to the dirt. <laughs> I tried. It's doing nothing. I'm. I, listen, I'm going to be a cheap little bitch. I don't care. <laughs> Why does everything I whip leave me? Ripley for the win! Careful. Careful. Checkpoint achieved. Fuck you if you think I'm going up, game. Not gonna happen. I know this trick. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. Gotta, gotta, gotta jump a little bit. Jump, jump and shoot, jump and shoot. Oh, you fucker. Oh, that works too, I guess. Watch, watch out now though, because it's, it's 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 unstable dirt. The truck's gonna fall on you. God, thanks for the protest. <laughs> uh, all, right. all right, wait, wait, wait up, wait up, and then let the bomb Whoa. do the work for us. Ow! Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Wow! It. Look, oh, look look at this bitch go. kick. What the oh, fuck? Oh. Dig it in, yo. <laughs> this is a bride, this. man. Woo. She don't give a shit. Except when it's red barrels. Oh no, she survived somehow. <laughs> I think I think I'm 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 abusing iframes. Yeah, maybe. Is that it? I uh, th this is what I'm gonna keep telling myself. Alright. Yes, let's all oh, dig on different right, levels. That's the most efficient way. Uh, 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 well uh, uh, what? Watch out. That bottom is an instant death pit. So, I'll learn from my grenades, mistakes. Uh, nope. Ah, oh, fuck. I jumped. <laughs> Never. Learn from my mistakes. Never. There we go. All right. Hello. <laughs> <Yolo. laughs> All right. So this this is our sticking point now. Apparently. A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little. So what can? So what can Sean Connery do? Whoop, where am I? There I am. Uh, okay, we've signed our way through that. <laughs> uh, I need a rescue. I, or not. All right, keep, keep going down. There's no, there is zero point in dealing with those explosives. All right. 
Uh. Oh wow, I don't know. Nope, not me. I was like, yeah! Back in action, baby. Looney Tunes back in action. Alright. That helped. <laughs> Robocop, fire! How do I fire? Uh, uh, B again. You just press the... Yeah, you just hit the button. Yeah. Let, so you, you hit it, let it scan everyone you want to hit, and then hit it again. Alright, that button sucks, dick. Oh, that. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Kung Fu digging. <laughs> that work. Kung Fu digging. <laughs> ah. What did you expect, developers? What did you expect? <laughs> it's devolver, so expect everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Oh, oh. I am the one. <laughs> <laughs> Now to go star in Cyberpunk 2077. Wake the fuck up, <laughs> Samurai. Oh. Yeah, I've learned a game. Where am I? You gotta go down. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all deal with that shit first. Ah, uh, okay. I found I found the hole. Alright. Uh. Uh. Apparently not. I fell into a pit. Yeah. I'm Max. down in a hole, as the kids say. That was really cute of Carmack, just like low key mentioning. He's like, yeah, all right, cutting with a the Final Fantasy sword. I'm like, bitch, just outfit in your mech. Uh, oh, Predator! Oh, predator! Oh shit! So oh, player who's not paying attention. There we go. Hmm. Stabby stab. The stabby stabby die die. And I explode. I'll do it. <laughs> cool. I explode on death. Run. You're not. Mission failed. <laughs> Mission mailed. Can we just run over the top? And just like eat. We. You get killed. Uh, when I, I remember doing this. You, uh, I found you get killed. Oh, I drop shit that goes down, huh? Yeah. What yeah, you were asking me why I can shoot down? That was that was my lady, I'm the one who can shoot. I can only oh, shoot. Oh yeah, down. that's right. You got a M16 on your leg or something. Alright, I have no idea what happened, but everyone's dead now. I think something fell on you. Oh no, I, I think I hit a gas can and it exploded. Lovely. You got this. Alright, Mia. You're up. <laughs> See, when Mir makes an attempt, he can actually do it, but he's got to maintain the facade that he's not yep. doing it. Well, that's his thing, man. I mean... Well, I just fell down the hole. <laughs> you can't expect somebody to abandon their gimmick. <laughs> Noisy cricket, for sure. Hey, up to the me. Nine. In the cover. Right, they're all dead. Gagger. Save. Save Martha. Who's farting? Come on. Save Fartha. <laughs> Fartha, save. Oh, snap. Yeah. Damn. Oh. All right, you got it. I, got it. I can live with that. I literally <laughs> stuck a stick of dynamite up the devil's butt, and he ran away. Oh dear! <laughs> All right, best way to do it. Oh, I guess I guess. We're... <laughs> one, more. One, more. one more. One more. Yeah, hold. Bye. Oh yeah, Never yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta oh, run shit. for the zip line right away. Yeah. Or what? You die. Oh. Yeah. You die. Hmm. That's uh. Uh, ah. Intruder alert! 
zipline! Oh. Ah. Zipline into a into a fucking bomb. <laughs> Be zip. Uh, well, trouble with your weapon? Where am I? Oh, I'm walking. All right. Wow. I'm not gonna shoot in the back. Oh. That's oh. All right, lads. Let's do it. The same thing with more gusto. We got it. Yes. One yeah. more time. Lost the more intense. <laughs> One more time. You going to see? Oh, oh nice. damn. All right, one one more time. Go, go, go. <laughs> Come on, Neo. We got this. No, I'm not even Neo. That's no, no. I'm Neo. I'm dead. Neo. What the <laughs> fuck? Run! 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 <laughs> Don't fuck, don't fuck around, don't shoot things. Run! There we go. There's player two, up top. Watch out! And there it goes. There's no way you could have sold that. No. No, no. 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 I, I, had to, no. I had to adjust the course on my snowmobile and now I'm gonna crash! Well, I waited too long. Where am I? Oh, no, I'm dead. Robocop. I don't know if you could duck. Well, this changes nothing. <laughs> yeah, it lets you dodge like two types of attacks. That's it. Yeah. Fuck whatever this is supposed to do. I guess. It's it's for targeting shit above him. Clearly. <laughs> mm. Did the clever level designers <laughs> think about this? It? I don't think I can make that. Uh, no. Nah. Really? The, you're gonna have to go up that ladder and use a zipline, yeah, I you're think. Gonna need to use the zipline. No, you're, 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 you're out of targety boops. Clearly. This is a sneaking mission, Snake. Yeah. I've turned it into that. <laughs> what kind of what sex noises are they making? The good ones. <laughs> Alright. Now what? Fuck if I know, we go up. And, and now we climb. We'll try to climb anyway. Alright, alright. He's he's got he's got a he's got a backup in sight. Oh, yep. Oh yes, Predator baby. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, I got spears. Rush! God damn it, run! Run! Or was all for not up top, up top. Get the checkpoint. No. Oh, oh, boss. Check. Well, back at the beginning. Oh, yep. Yeah. Go back uh, and get that okay. checkpoint if you can. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. What's my what's my all fire? Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> ah. You can turn invisible when you do that. Squish. There you go. You got it. Ah. Maintain. Jesus. Oh. I, I tried. Yeah, there's there's a sweet spot on that tank. God damn it. Uh, what? Oh fuck me. Where am I? Have I loaded in yet? Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Indiana okay, Jones. someone's left. Nope. Uh, no, okay, not. so apparently Foxy's fucked. Uh, yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, 
Um, all right. I, I, th- I think right. that's about as good a time as I need to call it. Oh, there oh, he goes. Nope. Yeah. There he is. All right. Let's, let, 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 let's see him fail and then we'll call it. <laughs> Watch him solo this entire fucking level. <laughs> Do it. Fucking prove me wrong. No, he wants to go up. He'll die quick. Speed runs. Oh, I'm alive. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, no, not anymore. <laughs> oh, that's me. All right, fine. That's I'm digging. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> rise. Chicken, arise. Arise, chicken, chicken. Arise. You right, missed. Checkpoint. Or not. I don't know. I might be alive. I, I just can't check- see myself. What else? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. not there you are. Uh, okay, still think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. You've got this. Yeah, yeah I'm going down. Please right. don't be Play. me. Oh, go. Cool. Oh, well, I died instantly. Kill. Cool. Get, 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 get on the sweet spot. Get on the shelf and just shoot. Oh, I got shot from beyond. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, well. Yo, come to power. Maybe. Never mind. <laughs> Am I alive? No. No, Mir is. <laughs> Jordan is. Alright, checkpoint. So not too far from the. Yeah, not too far from yeah, the. Yeah, right oh, we, we okay, kill, I, we're, we're killing oh, the stink kids. So all right, just all go right. ahead and get that yeah. in your head. Alright. Alright. <laughs> uh, right. um, whoever's player two. Ren, you are in here. <laughs> I'm thinking about things. <laughs> I got the tank. I got the tank. He's dead. He's Ooh. dead. He's dead. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Solo the tank, motherfucker. I just burned all of Neo's special on that tank. I just <laughs> unloaded all three of them. When I saw the first one just like take a third of his health bar, I'm like, ah, this is how I win. That yeah. kid <laughs> is how. We completely wrecked and destroyed Broforce. Yes. It didn't stand yeah. a chance until it didn't. And more didn't. Yeah, Bro- <laughs> hey, Broforce, is, Broforce is fun. It's it's good in small doses. I mean, it's it's a serviceable like because you can't you, you can't like blame anybody because it's it's just chaos, pixel chaos. Go. Yep. Yep. Hipster hipster pixeler metal slug. Mm. You know Metal Slug's gonna multiplayer. Oh yeah. Yeah. My buddy has a Metal Slug. Uh, cabinet. I love playing it. Yeah, I love playing in the cabinets. Yeah. Oh no, I'm talking about online multiplayer on through Steam. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's that too. Uh, which I think which I have one? Metal Slug. Is... Egg, so. Uh, the one I, I, have. I have. I think the Xbox 360 oh, Collector's Edition also. There, has there are four apparently. I think it's Metal Slug yeah. Three. It's either yeah, three or X. These are X. the two I have. Yeah. One of them has a uh, multiplayer. I've got X, so uh, let's have a look. Three uh, has uh, online co op. Yep, online co op. Uh, yep, Metal Slug X does as well. I guess I, I guess they both do. They also have Metal Slug XX. Do they have Metal XX? Slug yeah, XX? Right? We're just one away from that getting <laughs> interesting. Whole different game. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm. I, Final Fantasy 15 came out, and I was like, damn, I was really hoping we'd get a Final Fantasy 30 in my lifetime. So 30? Like, XXX. Ah, ah. Got it, got it, got it. That took a minute. Okay, got it. We might get an XX in that last one. We might get, we might get, we might get XX. Don't worry, don't lifetime. worry. The next one will be VR. It'll be Final Fantasy VR. Mm, I'm pretty sure that already exists. And it'll be a uh, remake of The Spirits Within. It'll be oh that. my god. The the, 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 the I, I think the stupidest Final Fantasy thing I've seen so far, or at least this year, is mm. the Stranger in Paradise ones. Like I'm Jack Garland, I turn into Garland at the end of Final Fantasy One. Better We're than like Jack kill Garmin, where you just turn into like a fucking sat nav <laughs> system. GPS, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> a shit power, isn't it? No man, actually, actually, give, given how frequently I get lost. I think that I'd get some use out of that power. See, you were never like out and about now, but by the time you were out navigating by yourself, you had a mobile, didn't you? I was just a little before that, but mm. I got one pretty shortly after. 
yeah, that like I was in shit my twenties before it was remotely viable to have any type of GPS. I didn't have a GPS until I don't know about four years ago. I was lost. Well, well, that's all five. I'm saying. I'm not about to brag, but I mean, I to this day, that's my... what I like doing is uh, leaving that shit in the boot, and just driving out and getting fucking lost. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. way back. I turn the GPS on and see how wrong they can get it. Like yeah. turn left now. Mm. No, there's a railway track there. <laughs> there's a big fence. I am not turning left. 15 for 15 years. I don't know. I don't know how much more they can squeeze out of. I my not claim to fame. Like I, this is not a humble brag. I've never played fucking Final Fantasy game. Uh, I've yeah, watched people play it. I watch people play the uh, online, but I don't watch them to watch them play. It's just talking shit and doing stuff. I think I, know. I stopped at 12. Maybe 11. I played. I played eight, nine, ten, and ten two, and that's it. Definitely I've done, completed one through six. I've done one, three, actual three, not with the Onion Knights, not six. Um, four, <laughs> um, nine, ten, and twelve. I must say, my favorite is Final no, Fantasy. Six. That one. My, my, yeah, my favorite is Tactics. tactics. And there's the Crystal Chronicles and all that as well. I, that's Didn't, one of the things I liked about Fell Seal. It was very Final Fantasy Tactics. Like, was very satisfying. When are we going to get Fantasy Star? <sighs> we, they, they have that. <laughs> uh, uh, Fantasy Star. Uh, Fantasy Star Online is still going. Star Online. Oh yeah, yeah Fantasy so Star nice. Online Two in New Genesis has an anti-cheat that just will never come to Linux. There are two games work. that I want online multiplayer for, and that's Battletoads and the original uh, Turtles. Oh, yeah, like the arcade? Well, the, 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 well, the new no, 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 the bullshit one on the NES. Mm. Oh, that one that you cannot finish. <laughs> I remember that. my brother had that. We went there for hours and hours trying to finish that. No, on the NES, you can quit. finish it. I think it's like on the Amiga version that they never finished mm. the... Uh, part where like somebody did a wall hack to get through it and there was no level there mm. <laughs> they were like fuck it yeah, yeah, yeah it was like one of the robocop games was the same it's like that's that's a dick move to find out later on in life but i guess you know like 30 years later like it's probably not gonna hurt your yeah. cv to find <laughs> out that you were the guy that made that call yep hmm. but i guess we need to work on uh trying what is it what, what, what the, did the, we fucking yeah, buy? The the just, oh uh, just cause yeah. yeah yeah. How many I, people I mean, can play? Well, the, uh, the dozens of people. Yeah, like so. Can you like split up your own server? server? I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's uh, I think you need a dedicated server I, for it. I got thirty minutes of just cause three. That's all I know about the game. So <laughs> I have four hundred plus hours because I. Beat it on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Man, the tsunami of information about the game is overwhelming, guys. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's GTA I, with hook shots. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than Just Cause 3. I think what it I'm getting at is, bigger. is, uh, is, there, is it objective based or what do we do? Or is it just we all join in yeah. the science sandbox fuck around simulator? Or what's I mean, it, it, I it's have no idea. like the, the I, I think the GTA comparison is the best one because like Never it has objectives. Any of the three D GTA's. It, okay. All right, so it, there's objectives. I have not played the you, you, you you can do missions and stuff, but it's in like Skyrim in that like nothing is directly enforcing you to do this, mm. so you can just fuck <laughs> off and go do all the other stuff. Oh. You, you can spend hours just driving for no fucking reason. Well. Here, I will show that you. Or this just is my shit things up all the time. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a legitimate. <laughs> steal a helicopter and shoot things up. Hmm. This is my experience in Just Cause so far. Ah, Spider Man. That looks Spider Man. Like just Cause <laughs> three. That's two. Three. That's two. Oh, three. No, three. Three. Yeah, three. Yeah, that's three. That's 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 what I'm up to. Hanging off the ceiling. Yeah. What the fuck did this happen? Yeah, that's <laughs> Just Cause that's... Two was a little bit more stable with that. 
It wasn't very often you clipped through things and got stuck. All right. Well, do we get anything else to go through to get out of our systems? I don't think so. I'm running white one, so there's that. You, you, you've I'm mentioned it. So yes. And? And I thought I thought the I thought the driver didn't install because I was just doing some updates. And I tried to run NVIDIA settings and I wouldn't run. I got hang on, is the driver even here? Yeah, well, turns out I'm just running on my. Yeah, how does that and work? NVIDIA, NVIDIA settings in Wayland. It, it doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't exist. <laughs> right? That's the thing. Yeah, it, it exists. Yeah, because uh, what, what, what do you players. call it? Uh, <laughs> in, NVIDIA settings requires like a couple GL extensions. Or some other kind of extension that like just well, isn't supported in Wayland. Okay, okay, then how do you deal yes. with like monitor rotation, color balance, and uh, X well, render? I, I think I think I, actually I don't even think X render applies anymore because that's X. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just I just use the Nvidia uh, the gnome settings I, I, to adjust yeah, my I, I, rotations. I think with, I think with Wayland the whole point is that it is up to the DE to implement those tools. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound as fun as like watching XFC and. NVIDIA X or config fight. Oh, that is fun. That's fun. <laughs> you realize I, that shit has to be identical. I yeah. I found I found out what saving the profile in XFC display settings are for. I'm like, aha, okay. Mm. Yeah. So all right. So You're gonna crack now, that open at least once, unless you want to reset that shit every single time you launch. Yeah. yeah. Every time you connect another monitor, it's like automatically load profile on monitor connect? Yes. Please. You know what? You know what? That 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 alone, the ability not to have the goddamn desktop flip the hell out every time you cut off a monitor. Yeah. I'm looking forward to yeah. that. Like I, I will run. I don't know. Where do you go from XFC? I'm not going to GNOME, man. GNOME it, GNOME genuinely frustrates me when I try to use it. And that's not an yeah. experience. Hey, I mean I mean like you could Theoretically, you could strip KDE down to the point where it superficially, it superficially resembles XFCE. Uh, what else? There's what else? Allotment. Is There's there like a, a lot, super basic bitch? A uh, yeah, Sway. I go ISWM. Sway. For me. Yes. Yeah. Sway. Sway, yes. Sway's, Sway's the, the one way thing way that way. I launched. I'm like, yeah, okay. I, I could yeah. probably hang with Sway. As long as, like, as I can customize it to put your oil on it. It's going to be bullshit growing pains with this, man. Well, oh, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like, re remember the pain of, like, learning X and, like, getting to terms with that? Now it's all over again. But it's easier now because mm. reasons. I mean, it's <laughs> it's less of a protocol shit show. That's that's for certain. It sounds like it's a great plan for single monitors. <laughs> well, the, the, whole, the whole point with Wayland is, like... Well, I'm it, running four right now. Well, like the, the whole point is like it, it doesn't even like operate yeah. necessarily in terms of monitors. You just like have the surface that you paint to. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you have input redirection and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. it's all that. I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a new, it's a new dynamic, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it's barely yeah. 20 years old. Hey, X is 40. <laughs> it's criminally it's underage still, compared to X. Yes, if you're going to drag still, that, still, up. still still young, still young in the tooth. That's all I'm saying. Is well, it is well, technically the child let's, of X. So. Let, let, let's, listen, let's 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 be real. X was barely usable up until like maybe a decade ago. So, for single monitor displays, I never. I mean, I've been using X for single monitor, years. no, no worries. Yeah. yeah, like I, I would say, for me, by by two thousand. I mean, I was using it one way or the other, but like 2000, but I mean, back in those days, you, you were building everything, you know, you were building yeah. your server. I couldn't imagine oh, yeah. like today that ever being a thing of like, yes, let's compile X with DRI and get all that. But I mean, that's one of the advantages of growing up with the technology is I was mm -hmm. there for all yeah. the steps. So mm. yeah, it's, it's more, it's more of a steady, like, yeah, I, I understand how, how the cards were stacked together somewhat enough to Google my way out of it but yeah i mean we used to have to drop back in my day this is a legitimate thing I had to drop out of x to play video games drop would, what, what, what? that Sorry? was just reality you had to close x well, i mean those the ah, yeah. uh, windows too you can run windows and dos right windows windows and doom at the same time like there was a hack yeah. for um double buffering to make a window inside of x but you only get to use 
it would play at half speed because it was doing it mm-hmm. twice. I mean, it was something neat to look at. It just wasn't usable. All right, everyone. We're going to bounce out of here. Uh, thanks for showing up, hanging out with us, and doing all that fun Bye. stuff. If you want to catch Pedro, he'll be up to something next on Tuesday. And uh, Wednesday, we'll be back with weekly, daily Wednesdays. Thursday, Jordan will serenade. Well, hell, we might be playing Just Cause. We might be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? That's a threat and a promise. And Friday, <laughs> Friday, I might be back with some pie stuff. I'm just waiting on some things to fall into place because I think that'd be like a fun little live stream. And uh, yeah. back again Saturday. So, yeah. Uh-huh. We'll see you there. Cool. Same uh, All right. channel, Twitch thing. Subscribe, a like. Yep. Smash the bell. Smash the bell.